Welcome to Starfinder, The Fragments of Eternity, Session 24. I'm Ryan the GM. It is the 17th of June 2019. For those paying attention, yes, I did change how I do my intro. Welcome to the future. Uh, here are the players. Hey, I'm Nico. I play Zora, the best captain. I forgot my character's name. <laughs> Good start. Mm-hmm. Oh, me? Yep. Sorry. Yep. It's okay. Yep. Welcome. I forgot how things work here. So okay, you're um, up. <laughs> yes, I am Alex. I play Nix5, the android mechanic. Yep, defrag underway. <laughs> That's right, baby. What's up? <laughs> Hello, I'm Colin. I play Lyco Quint, spooky boy, space cop. You know, that sort of stuff. Fuck, that's how you do it. Hello! I'm assuming you're done. Hi! I'm Callum. <laughs> I'll be playing Zig. The squishy little space rat who does magical things. Well, just Can we all just take a moment to enjoy the title of Callum's sex tape? I assume you're done. Oh my lord. <laughs> 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 okay, um, also, I, I was very tempted to, to, um, to go for this is how we, how we do it. Um, yeah, I was thinking that as well. Yep, uh, it was in my head too. Yep. There's a, a, an excellent list of fake wrestler names a wrestler called Chuck Taylor came up with, uh, which I recommend any listeners at home, any listener at home, uh, <laughs> Googles. It's very funny. Uh, yeah. How is everybody? Big. Yes. Go larger, go. Yep. Charge. Good enough. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Wait or stand aside. Oh dear. Just, just. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. That's. Yep. It's all good. It's all good. Maybe. Everything's fine. Um. Yeah. So. Who? Well, it's been lovely. Yeah, it's, it's been a good session, guys. Uh, it's been a while since we did this joke. And uh, <laughs> 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 gotta gotta get it back in there. Yeah. Oh wow, tightly sex tape. Might what be the first one. Yeah. Is that the first one of the year? Also tightly. No, never mind. It's, it's okay. just a volume of uh, sex tapes now. Um, yeah. Anyway, besides that, hello. Sorry, continue. <laughs> Who remembers what happened last time? Ooh. Um, what's talking with Edgar? Um, we decided to kill Edgar. <laughs> Um, I mean, it's up there. I mean, <laughs> he needed more sugar, water. Um, sugar, water. <laughs> if I may make a slight uh, digression, was that Vincent? Oh fuck, I can't pronounce his surname. Cable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, Spooky Boy, talk to Spook Spooky Boy. And got spooky knowledge. I I did a lot of talking. Mm. You did. Yeah. That's someone like you. <laughs> what a bitch. It's almost Bad. as if you were an investigator or something. Oh, <laughs> <Already> clear. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a reference to the time I very memorably called Clear a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we all had such a laugh. We did actually. <laughs> uh, very well. Yeah, Colin's not a sexist monster. <laughs> Just a sex monster. <laughs> <laughs> don't know if that makes it better. Like, I, 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 no, it doesn't. <laughs> like, I feel like maybe if you went for a sexy monster, maybe. But uh. mm, anyway, <laughs> moving swiftly on. Yeah. So, Lyco. Lyco did do a lot, a, a lot of talking with a lot of people. Uh, Spooky. So did, so did Zig, to a degree. Um, mm. That's a lot of telling off. <laughs> oh. Zig got sad. Corrected. Which is standard. I feel yeah. like I was more supportive than that. You were very uh, supportive, and I appreciate that. So I'm sure Zig does too. I feel like in a future game, Zig, you should just play like the head of like the operation That's and boss specific. every day around. Um, not necessarily in any of this, but like for example, in a, like the Cyberpunk game or something. You know, if Zig decides to join for that, and by that I mean Callum, not just Zig randomly. Yeah, it's like <laughs> you just wouldn't believe me if I told you. Heads up to the bar, down's a shot. 
drags a golden egg with him. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, you just play somebody in charge of like the operation, like the fucking squad leader or something, and then that way you can actually boss other people around and tell them off. They have to do it by that book, Johnson. Throw the book at them. God damn it! <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're a loose cannon. It's like, no, this God is a loose cannon. You're the best damn cop I've ever met. <laughs> It's a shame he died one day before retirement. I'm yeah. so picturing all this being said to Zig. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just like I got drunk one night. Sorry, talking to Zig. Forgot who Zig was. Zig, <laughs> apparently, in like I was drunken haze, became every person like I was ever worked with. Yep. It's fine. No, Makes I'm sense. I'm picturing Zig in an oversized police uniform. <laughs> yeah. It's adorable. Yeah. Like I also dressed him. Yeah. <laughs> it's just some role play stuff. Listen here, kid. <laughs> Mind <laughs> link. Why did I see jungle? I don't know. The, f- jungle. Uh, the, the concrete jungle. <laughs> the concrete jungle. The jungle concrete. Anyway, um, <laughs> let's review the goal, shall we? Oh yes. Are we happy with the goal as is? Do we need to update or change? Nah, I feel like that's got to get resolved. Uh, hopefully. Where are we? <laughs> yep. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. Where were we? Hermione. 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 <laughs> Hermione. Can, can we be, if possible? Sorry, no, that's vulgar. No. <laughs> that's, that's not going to be vulgar. <laughs> More yeah. vulgar. Sure. Um, oh, there's no. the ship. Where are we? Ah, down, scroll. Scroll, scroll. Oh, it's dance, dance, baby. Oh, it's done. Yeah, it's done that thing again. Okay. All good. Yep. So, some very specific piece of dialogue that's lost to the recordings. God, it's such <coughs> a sausage fest these days. <laughs> uh, Ship's busy. Well, sort of the women. Which spelled with an eye. all the bitches are. The eye. So, dude, I said it wasn't going to be fun. I mean, I just... <laughs> I lied, I lied. Right, so, I lied. Ev- everybody singular at home listening. Um, Hi, Nick. Hello. Hi. Hi. Nick's back, all right. I feel like we did try and make this not a horrendous sexist fest, but uh, here, here we are. This ship has sank. Some of my best friends are women. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Callum has been stole by a mixture of gremlins and Ewoks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crikey. I'm actually quite uh, proud of that one. That would also be a really good doorbell. Uh, just Callum's laugh process. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was class. It was good stuff. That's that's uh, what we come here for. Oh, so back in the game. <laughs> should, we, should we should we play should we play a game? Yes, <laughs> back back in the game, in the game. Don's the game. <laughs> here we are. So the ship drops out of drive space, loses power. Everything flickers on and off. You get that nice emergency blue lighting that comes on everywhere. It wasn't me. <laughs> and oh, then... I mean, <clears throat> is there a way I can actually make emergency blue lighting happen? Let's see. Probably. Within your power are many things. You're correct. <laughs> like I've got the blue one. You can flip and make things happen. <laughs> Quick, change the bulb. There we go. Emergency lighting. That's <laughs> 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 like Lucas film in here. Uh, oh, it's F. Oh, which no. mean terrible aliens? Yeah. Ter- terrible aliens. That's racist. <laughs> Some no. Anyway. I'm gonna intercept that one <laughs> myself. <laughs> Thank you. Right, so, what do you do? Besides all the awful. I mean, he introduces himself by saying what again? I, I mean, they, they just appeared when we were on 
of the up here in the front of Barney is. Uh, uh, he, he appears in the middle of the ship and his voice just booms out while the ship's on kind of like, you know, emergency, we are absolutely fucked mode. Um, okay. So yeah. Um, yeah, like the ship just gets like ripped from drive space. It's not pleasant. Um, uh, emergency blue lighting, go. Ooh. Wow. That's more cyan or cyan. <laughs> I would, I would, this is I would definitely a blue I alert situation. I, pronounce. I mean, I can make it more blue. That's bluer, yeah. yeah. Go, we can go bluer still. A deeper shade That's of blue, if you will. There we go. Uh, yeah. shader shade of pale. Um, okay, so we, we hear him, we're aware of his presence, but we're, you know, not necessarily safe. Okay. Yeah. Captain, do you want me to rig up a self-destruct? <laughs> Are you just calming um, each other? Are you calming everyone, yeah. in fact? <laughs> just on the intercom. <laughs> um. Not the last time, right? <laughs> <laughs> I can answer that. <laughs> no. No. I, uh, I, I, I look at the radio, Supreme, and uh. blankly for a moment and say, uh. Yeah, because you're probably still in the room with a giant uh, Urgalas statue, right? <laughs> there, there's, there's a thing. I should, uh, yeah, uh, and mutter, and, he, and then walk off. I think like he kind of like starts to like do that kind of you know, like steepling his fingers, his weird fingerling, and uh, mm. or fingerly, I believe it was, and uh, I think it was fingerling. Fingerling, and he just kind of like nods, and he's like. Best not to keep the dragon waiting. I shake my head. Dragon magic. And I walk off towards... <laughs> and walk off towards, uh... The manny. I guess, yeah, I guess I probably would just automatically start... Drive. But I probably would... Also, for everybody actually... at home, this it is child's dance. Yes, well done. <laughs> Yes. Bonus yes. point. <laughs> we, we will kill him on a toilet. <laughs> Spoiler. Oof. I mean, Oof. I think Thanks at spoils. this point. No, never at this point. <laughs> at no points. Don't worry, they spoiled it themselves. Uh, for every day uh, who is listening, a minute and a half ago, there was a Game of Thrones spoiler. Be careful. <laughs> oh, Sorry. yeah. Temporarily challenged amongst us. Daenerys is bad! <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> That's one, one bad mark against you, Colin. I w can I can I place my Lyco token in the, in the food chamber? Yeah. As you all slowly shuffle um. that way. <laughs> you walking? Yep. I like it. <laughs> Get off the table. <laughs> like, like when you hit like no, it's not numb lock. It's like one of the buttons in WoW, and it make is, is it numb lock? That makes you walk in WoW. Z or something? No, it's one of the, it's something like that. Yeah, it's numb lock or Z or something. Depends what you keep bound it to. I think that. maybe mine's numb lock. Anyway. Zig, what are you up to? You're staying in your um, um, I was vent. Say, uh, could, no, could I um, could I use like vents to get there without being in the room, but vented in the room? Roll engineering. Go to the room through the vents. <laughs> engineering, did you? Say? Yeah. He wants to spy. <laughs> Venting. Do you I'm think that vent. will work? I mean, it would be fair of you to try it, but just out of character, do you think that will work? Probably not. I mean, it's probably what he would do, right? Yeah, no, I'm not saying don't do it. Like, absolutely do it. But just, if... if Probably not. <laughs> cool. So we're in the same page. Yeah, sure. Why not? You can work your way through there. I'm somewhere in the room. <laughs> under the room, above the room, somewhere. I think you're, like, probably still underneath it. Cause I think you were under the, the Supreme's room. I was under the Supreme's thing, so I think... Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Um, let's see. Do I have something that accurately represents what the hell Zig is doing? Probably not. So yeah, he's all entered the room. You see just him standing, like, with a hand on the back of a chair. This very kind of no-nonsense no black kind of, I guess, heavy robes, I guess. Sure. Probably just say Pamani. Give him a nod. There we go. 
there is what I was looking for. Did anyone move? Uh, did anyone move the goop? <laughs> no, it's still sitting there. Okay, Lyco <laughs> gestures to the table. Okay. Her Majesty. And then uh, Hemani just uh, like he just kind of grits his teeth a bit, like behind his lips, and then just looks to you, Zora, and says, he kinda, like waves a hand." To, like between the two of you, permission to come aboard, Captain. It's kind of just like too. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> I guess I'm not even going to respond. Actually, <laughs> like, just no response. The Queen. I would point at the goop. Oh, so then Alice does a crazy run, uh, saying, the ship shouldn't be stopped! Trying to be formal, but... And then off she goes. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> yeah, she kind of just like runs through the air, clank, 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 as it were. Um, uh, uh, don't mind her, I guess. He doesn't even, like, <laughs> notice her. Like, he just doesn't even react. He's still, like, waiting on you. I don't think uh, he noticed her. Like, anything like <laughs> And then like, he just kind of like, nods very curtly once and then like, pulls the chair out with a horrible kind of like, metal on metal noise and then just sits down. And then like, waves to the seats as if, you can all sit now as well. Whether you are sitting I or not. I will very politely do so. Mm. Sit down. And he's got like his hands like resting on the table and he's kind of doing that thing where like, his thumb and forefingers like, or the index fingers just kind of like rubbing uh, separately in each foot like hand. And then uh, he's kind of looking at the table and then he looks up at Lyco and he says, narrows like an eye at you, like, your okay. majesty, and he gestures to the group. It's uh... Well, it's almost certainly largely composed of the former queen, yes. There may be a little bit of one of her... I don't know if he was an elite guard or something. He was impressive, but... Well, not impressive enough. Yes. Not an agreement. Have you become mute? And he just looks at you, Zora. I would raise an ocular ridge. Mm -hmm. It matches his raised ocular ridge. This has, like we says, she was um, unfortunately couldn't quite bring her head. He um, gestures. To the, the ooze. Like with an open hand. Put hand on the ooze. And he kind of like holds it and just like stares at it. And then he says, And you're pretty sure this is her? Absolutely. There are, if it's necessary, uh, ways to determine that for sure. That won't be right. necessary. Like he just cuts you off. And he just opens the container and he just drinks it. Ah. Well. It's like not a graceful looking scene either. Hmm. And then it just sits the empty container down on the table. Stands up again. Kind of like brings out a or kind of black tissue from his uh, robe. Starts kind of like patting his lips and it's then uh, folds the uh, handkerchief and puts it in his pocket and he says And you just had a hand in this? Waves to the empty canister. Mm, <laughs> of course. <laughs> he doesn't even acknowledge next five. Yeah. Let's see what 
Would you have Possibly to roll deception cause. or bluff on that? I, I'm being truthful. We're, we're technically a direct cause. We woke that thing up. <coughs> <laughs> ah, you're, you're you're playing the long I truth. It there, you know, <laughs> I mean, in theory, though, you don't actually know that. You don't know if you woke it up or if it was a uh, Lyco. <laughs> It's a matter of mm. perspective. It's a part of the crew. <laughs> From a certain, yeah, From a certain point of view. <laughs> Captain do. <laughs> 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 uh, okay, bluff, I guess. Um, I don't have a... Uh, okay, it's not a boss. Bluff. What do you do? Yeah. It's not great. He just kind of like narrows his eyes. He's like... Somehow I don't believe that's the whole of the matter. Mm. Well, we got to the Queen, and then, unfortunately, an Alibrian took the kill. That's like, the right. that's yeah, the bot, right. yep. That's and you get, like, as soon as you say that, like, there is the tiniest of twitches at his cheek. Uh, I it? think I should perhaps specify. Uh, as the captain is from uh, outside the pact world, he perhaps doesn't realize the uh, strangeness of that statement. Uh, this was some form of psychic entity which appeared to be an Alibrian. And from what I understand is, but nonetheless, you know, slightly different than something from the distant past walking around in the flesh. He just looks at you, like, kind of blankly, and blinks once. And then he turns back to Zora, and he says, He is rather long in the tooth, isn't he? <laughs> I would stagger. I actually hear that. Yeah, like I imagine we get a pr like a, a good Vesk smile out of you, <laughs> a big toothy smile, shall we say? Ironically, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I imagine he yeah, is probably used to just straightforward answers. Um, <laughs> um, Speak plainly. You could, you could, yeah, exactly. You could Gonna say that. There for later. <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely good at information gathering. Yep. So, yeah. He, um, it's like roll perception. Okie dokie. Do you perceive the tail sticking out the back of his cloak? Cool. So, uh, yeah. You see him, you can't quite be sure, but it kind of does look like he just drank the flask from where you're positioned. Ah, okay. I, I think... Yeah, like yeah. enough of an angle to be like, if you make a leap of assumption, yeah, you think you might just have drank the queen. I think Zig would be kind of very grossed out, um, and kind of sit there, you know, when <laughs> um, <Even. laughs> yeah, that sort of like nervous sickness you get before you do something really intense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, like a bunch know, of vomiting you know, butterflies you in your stomach. Yeah, yeah, um, it's kind of like that. And then um, Helani just kind of stares. He's like, "You mean to tell me there is some psychic entity posing as a long dead Alibrian?" I don't mean to tell you it's posing, just that that's what it appears to be, and what I understand from speaking to. Uh, some people in our acquaintances may actually be. I'm also aware that that would be very strange. Hmm. And that's kind of all he does. He's kind of like looking off to like the left hand side, and that kind of clearly is thinking. Kind of way. Uh, and it doesn't. Well, I sort of absent-mindedly add, I have some experience with the Oxians. They're usually a lot less alive. Hmm. 
he kind of like sniffs as you're speaking and then he kind of turns to you and kind of looks you dead in the eyes and then he says yes it would seem you're rather the expert on that eh <laughs> never mind <laughs> and then he, uh, he turns to Zora out of character not knowing much about my own nature is kind of a <laughs> yeah maybe slight nerve <laughs> yeah <laughs> and um he sits back down and says you clearly have led me to something I care for and he kind of like you know, wipes the side of his mouth. And then, uh, just look at the vial, is he? Who says <laughs> that? <laughs> at the empty flask. <laughs> yeah. It probably, probably wouldn't have grossed me out as much as other people. Yeah. I've and seen worse. And the, the Viscarium quotes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's probably visceral. That's maybe the correct term. And uh, he says, Compensation where compensation is due. I trust you'll find your way to my home if I release this vessel. And he looks around the room. Mm. I'll stop on the way, but I'm sure we might be able to. He kind of just like looks at you really confused. Like, you've basically just said to him, like, you'll get around to getting paid. <laughs> so he kind of just like, uh, raises, like an eye bro at you and he just goes... He stands up again. I've got a slight matter to attend to first. But once what? He waves like, uh, see when you're when you're talking, like he kind of waves his hand and he's like, your business is your own. I would nod. You may ask of me one thing before I go. He looks around the room. Uh, Captain, uh, perhaps the uh, ideal time to discuss this, but perhaps not. Who knows? I, uh, I have received some information about our destination. Um, it was ominous. Uh, specifically, I'm told, uh, and I quote, Absalom is burning. Oh. That is an eyebrow. That was the best I was able to <laughs> draw from my uh contact in the station. Can I just say that like you just hear like a big sniff in through uh, Hamani's nostrils and then he's like While your underling is exhaling. I will be busy, and he just walks out of the room. Okay. So yeah, uh, carry on, Michael. I mention this now because if we are able to ask some sort of boon of uh, our current employer <laughs> uh, this might be this might be the place to call that in I don't think there's much chance of us avoiding Absalom given Edgar's intentions and also our own interests on the station but I contacted um Well, I, I contacted someone who I uh, don't necessarily trust, trust their judgment, but I, uh, I trust their assessment of this situation. Um, it's a very delicate phrasing there. <laughs> I don't think we can avoid this, so it might be, uh, might be worth having the assistance of a dragon in as far as he's willing to give it. I don't imagine he's going to act as a foot soldier for anyone but he may be able to provide some information or point this to someone else it's not um, 
well, I can't think of anything else to ask of him at this moment in time. Seems like a safe bet. Nix? Which... Hmm. You say you're confident in your contact. I'm confident in so far as I don't believe they would uh, say something like that lightly. What specifically they mean is, uh, you know, it's it's kind of like something might be lost in translation, but it's, it's less about translation and more perspective. I don't think burning is literal. I mean, maybe in some places, but I think this might be a case that we're walking into a war zone already. Perhaps it's something we can help with. Okay. Maybe. What the point who would be attacking Absalom? Or what? Well, that's that's a good question because there are so many people who want to but none of them would have the gall not with the current political climate I mean the most obvious answer would be not to be in delegate captain but the Fiscarium however attacking Absalom directly and specifically how would they accomplish that? Kind of snigger. I'd say if Viscarium had declared war again, you would not vote it. Yeah. But I don't know who else it could be. Given the difficulty of a specific surgical strike on Absalom. I'm inclined to think it's either previously unidentified threat or something less overt. Insurrection? Possibly. We know there are agents on Absalom with a heavy amount of armory. We could be walking into Ed <laughs> Edgar's power play already in motion. It certainly wouldn't be... <laughs> Unlikely. Yeah. So, just a yeah. thought. Perhaps we, need to, <laughs> perhaps we need to consider that we may have already contributed to the situation. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty confident we probably have unknowingly done so. <laughs> We're dealing with things a little above our usual level here. I'd like to climb out of the vent, please. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so you just crawl out from under the table. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Where does he ever? <laughs> <laughs> just crawls out from under the table. Hey. I'm gonna perch myself next, next. There you go. So, I guess you overheard. Glad you joined us. Uh, they would just nod. Mm hmm. You just see an empty flask sat on the table. I think uh, Zygmunt kind of just stare at it for a bit. Oh, um, can I roll to see if Lyco notices that? What, uh, Zyg? That is, like, sort of staring specifically at that. I don't even know if you need to roll for that. Like, I don't think Zyg, Zyg, Zyg isn't, you're not really trying to hide the fact that you're staring at it, are you? Or are you? No, 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 I'm just, uh, it's cool. just my like, focal point, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, pick Kinda it up makes then. Me... <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, uh, it's easy to forget when you're speaking to him and he looks like a man that he is actually an enormous mystical being with the size and appetite to easily devour humanoids. I think Zig would spew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't taste that bad. 
you know, it didn't look great. Uh, it's in boss. I believe you, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think you've seen a vesque, a vesque youngling. Feet. <laughs> <laughs> That's nasty. <clears throat> And then Despite he clears his throat. Rumors, might say. So Himani clears his throat behind Sorry. you as you're no, like you probably as you're mid, you know, conversation. Have you decided? He raises Perhaps. a small eye he raises an eyebrow slightly at the fact that Zig is now sat there. Kinda of wipes his 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 mouth of bits of him. Perhaps you could help us out with our situation absolutely. What situation is that? Maybe some clarity on the, the burning statement would be fantastic. Absalom is of no interest to me. What kind of clarity do you seek? You, uh, you seem like you have a lot of information. Perhaps you've heard something about what's going on. And he just kind of like looks at you, and you can see that he's doing that thing where like he's like kind of almost grinding his teeth in his mouth, or like as if he's moving something from like one side of his mouth to the other, and then he's uh, half rolling his eyes, almost like the whole thing. Like he's like, almost looking quite impatient, if that makes sense. And then, uh, or frustrated, impatient, I guess. And says, "Yes, I do know of Absalom's current predicament. Is that where this ship was headed?" I would not. He kind of just looks at you. It's like, is this a? Uh, Confirmation? Have you gone mute again? <laughs> Speak your words. Yes. Yeah, like now is his eyes again. He looks around again, like as if taking in the the ship. Is it? I do not think that's a good idea. But it is your idea to have, not mine to question. You are flying into a war zone. Oh. And who's attacking? What are the sides? Like with all wars, those who live and those who get killed. Kind of snugging at that. And he says it quite pointed, like you, Sora. Like that was like for you to hear, almost. If you know what I mean, even though he said it to the room. <laughs> Is this the boon you ask of me? Knowledge about something you could have found out as soon as I release your vessel. Hmm. How wasted. Well, it's good to know what you're getting into. I wouldn't with this one. And he kind of like motions like with his head as if, yeah, this is maybe not a good idea. Where would you suggest heading to then? He doesn't even acknowledge that you've asked a question. I'm going to quietly slip out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Where are you going? To see Edgar. So you're going to walk right by him? <laughs> Yeah, sure. <laughs> you up, walk right past yeah, him. Yeah, I think you're right that there is no other route, really. So nope. Yeah. And, like, as you do that, like, as you walk past him, he just kind of, like, <laughs> like, does that really sneering thing on, I guess I must be boring you. Yeah. Yeah, I like say, uh, sometimes he just has to go do what he has to go do, I guess. Do you always <laughs> make excuses for your crew? Absolutely not. 
Um, I, I won't have responded to his statement. Yeah, because I think it's just like, it's, it's kind of more point if you just walk past, right? And he just sneers that at you as you walk past. I'm sure he had his reasons. I'm sorry if he offended you. I say in Draconic. <laughs> I think with that as well, if you say that in Draconic, like, he raises an eyebrow. Um, and obviously, lesser men may be forgiven for not noticing. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, there's no motion to acknowledge that you spoke that, other than that tiny raise of the eyebrow. I, s I smoke slightly. <laughs> I know many languages. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, do you have anything else you want to say to him when you write this very second, or are we going to cut to whatever the hell uh, Lyco does? Not a sound. Listen. What were you guys in the in the room? I think uh, Zig's hair is just sort of stood on end. He's very just on edge. Mm -hmm. I just feel like Alex keeps pinging the engine room, and it really upsets me because I don't Sorry. know what that means. <laughs> I, what I mean is, what what have you done to the engine room, Nix Five? <laughs> <laughs> We've been here I before. Just, I, I was just plotting. <laughs> Good, 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 good. Um, yeah, well, a few have like a few. A few aren't going to say anything to him or try and get his attention in the other way. He's um, we'll cut to like I guess from the inside of Edgar's room. Well, I I I will approach. I'm I'm sort of on the door panel frame, like, and uh, but the door's closed, so jammed. yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, you like you you buzz it, and then it I'll opens. Buzz. Yep. Is he there? <laughs> Yeah, he's literally just standing as the door opens, like, uncomfortably, like, as if, you know, hello. <laughs> yeah. Edgar, may I enter? And he just, um, like, he stands there, the cigarette's kind of hanging out of his mouth, and he's got his hands in his pockets, and he's like, no, let's go to your room. And he puts his hand up to his uh, cigarette, and says, shall we? Very well. Let's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, go for it. So you just. That's my room, isn't it? Uh, this one, yeah. yeah. I always get. I always the opposite one to this, okay. basically. Oh, okay, I will. <laughs> just walk go in there, all the way past. Yeah. Edgar just waves to everybody as I kind of polite hello. It's a good wave back. <laughs> <laughs> I like that idea of the shot of him just going, hello, and then just Dick waving absentmindedly to, to him. It's good. Uh, and then uh, do you close the door, leave the door open. Close. Cool. And I think as you do that, like, he kind of shivers like like a fake shiver, like, ooh, clandestine. Slight side eye. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... I'm not sure why you preferred this room, but... Either. Fine. Can learn a lot about a man from where he stays. Yeah. I, uh. Hmm. Maybe. If you want to learn anything about me, it's. A lot of it's a matter of public record. Kind of just like but he's like he's kind of like taking in like the room and like the edges of the room, you know, like the the lining of the the bulkheads and guns stuff like that. Under the bed. <laughs> like it's not a it's not a subtle room, really. No. And he's he's kind of looking around. Whether or not he's looking for where you're planked stuff, it's neither here nor there, really. I uh I wanted to speak to you an account of uh, some troubling news I've received from Absalom Station. He just reaches into his uh, jacket and just pulls out his e-cig kind of holder. And he's like... And obviously, you know he left one on the table before. So he's now just like... Yeah. Well? As if he knows what's coming. So he's offering you a cigarette. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I, I'll take one. Mm -hmm. um. It makes the obvious sci-fi noise, is it? <laughs> Obviously, releases. Inhale deeply before yep. I continue. Yep, you got a nice icy, cool glacier vapor. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Uh, this might be redundant, who knows, but I've been informed and have clarified that there is currently an ongoing and uh, severe situation in Absalom Station, described by one individual as Absalom Burns and uh, the individual who you pass by uh, probably you know him raised eyebrow uh, the black dragon Hermani uh, and he's like oh is that who that was like like full shock you know yeah turns out uh, has uh, described it as a war zone so I suppose my first question is well no let's open with two did you know and are you involved I'll answer with a question if I may shrug go ahead he smirks at that and then uh, I just like the idea that you are probably swigging something as well that you found on a shelf <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I apologise to the audience member at home. Um, <laughs> I am slicking something. Um, and then he says, "Like who can be too?" So he's obviously like, he smirks at the fact that he said, yeah, "Nothing." Shrug, and uh, he's like, "Would my answer make a difference to your plans?" <laughs> I honestly don't know yet. Also, Nico, you're doing some really weird breathing. Sort of. Best breathing exercises. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, almost like some kind of weird yoga. Um, we are at, uh, we're at a bit of a, an interesting juncture where we're, we have reason to go back there. Even if, uh, you've indicated that maybe our, uh, friend on the station <laughs> is uh, beyond saving I, I i don't know and i certainly know that there are others in the crew who would be very eager to make sure that we weren't leaving her behind if there was a chance of recovering uh i think we all have some attachment to the station on account of individuals and institutions on board it and none of us wants to see it fall to ruin for the simple fact that it is absalom station it's absalom sorry um and he kind of just shrugs back at you, as if, sure, I guess that makes sense. You know, that kind of, meh, non-committal. We're going to find out sooner or later what we're walking into. We're not going to go in completely blind, but I want to be as prepared as possible. And I'm in the happy position of having someone on the ship right now who I know there's good reason to believe may be involved, not that this necessarily means you are equally <laughs> you know, yeah. under different circumstances the captain might be the first person I ask I kind of like now that kind of like exhaling laugh I am, I kind of like one breath and then he takes a cigarette out of his mouth and he just kind of like slowly puts it back into the, the holder and puts it in his pocket. Okay, like folds his arms and leans against the wall. And he says, You want the truth? Uh, or yeah. some comforting lie? Give me the first one. He smirks. And he says, I'm going to go back to the station. I'm going to go back to my office. I'm going to pick up my bottle of spin. And I'm going to melt that building to slag. Okay. How much do you think is going to stop me? <laughs> uh... And he looks really Honestly, serious now, like as if the kind of the playful side kind of dropped out as he was speaking it. You want a sincere answer on that? I have no idea. I, I have no parameters. I, <laughs> I can only assume that you're capable of more than we ever guessed previously. 
but that's an assumption. And then, like, he kind of he stands up straight. Um, again, with that kind of horrible. Um, what's the word? Like he's lost his uh, playfulness, as it were. Uh, let's see if I can actually find the thing. Give me two seconds. Let me just pause us here and I find the thing I need because it's got a specific name. And for some reason that name has left me. Please stand by. Someone play elevator music. Do 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 Oh yes! yes. Time to shine! Perfect sync. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you started with Jerry Rafferty. Oh, I didn't think that was Baker Street. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Perfect. Good. Appreciate us with it. Let's uh, enjoy it. Don't be sued That's by Mr. Rafferty. Sue me. Isn't he dead? I mean, his estate is probably still a thing if he is. That's completely fine. Uh, right, so yeah, like, he stands up straight, and then his, like, form kind of, like, turns to black smoke and fades away. And he returns to the thing that was in the air. Uh, like the chamber. Yeah. And you have that feeling of dread again. Um, can you make a will save? Um, certainly. Uh, can I use my plus two for this? From your ganglia? Yeah. What is the effects it effects it's, against? Uh, let, let me read it against. It's... Well, that's not a very good score. Uh, do, 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 Phantom Beast of Ganglia. Such a great phrase. Uh, so mental influence and control. You can add the next. Yeah, that's fine. Well, it's plus one. Sorry, it's plus one. Yep. So it's only fourteen. Yep. Um, you feel like again that pressure of trying to hold a door closed, but then it gets pushed, and you're like smacked by the force of this overwhelming effect. Um, you can fall to your knees or your ass. What way do you want to fall? <laughs> ass. Cool. So you fall back on your ass, yeah. and you have this wave of loss and dread, like ho actual hopelessness, um, despair. And uh, you're kind of like left there, almost like that sinking feeling in your stomach, like you're about to step off the edge of something, but it's pulling you down, 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 and then. For a split second, like everything goes black, and then the like the room comes back, like the you know whole blood rush thing. Yeah. And then Edgar walks over and offers you a hand. Um, I'll take it. I'll accept that up. Yep. Uh, and he helps you back up. Is he still in that form? No, no he shifts back. No. Hence why his icon changed. You uh, sorry, I, I had my thing open. I was looking for. I realized I hadn't coded some stuff. Um, it might be just because well, it doesn't really. Need he to be was coded. like that two seconds ago. Yeah. Okay. And then he is no longer like that. Doop. Yes, <laughs> yes. I, you've made your point. And then he kind of looks at you like he's like as you've stood up. He's still like holding your hand. And then he kind of um. Excuse me. Like he's holding your hand, and then he kind of like just shakes it once. And then he says, I guess I'll see you on Absalom, then. And then smirks, and then leaves the room. Um, <laughs> cool, okay. <laughs> so, uh, Zora. Mm-hmm. Just saying to Himani. Oh, um, what was it the last thing you said? Pretty much, are we done? Really? Like, um, that was the gist of uh, it. Yeah, I guess it was like. It was like <laughs> you've asked me for something you would have learned, or like if you just went to the place you're going to anyway that I've told you not to go to. Is the gist of what you actually said? <laughs> I guess. Um, I can't really think it. It was the old one. It's okay. Does anybody else think of anything that Zora should have asked him? Um, if there is anything, because keep in mind it doesn't need to just be Nico thinking of what Zora can say. The party can outsource this, if they be. Anyone to get any other suggestions? Well... What, what could we use? You know, what do we have need for? 
So I don't really have any ambiguity in it. There's always more armaments. <laughs> well, yeah, keep in mind, yeah, you, did offer, you did offer compensation. Like, yeah, that's yeah, like, you, you have to go to his home to pick it up. Yeah. yeah. Can we just tell him that we'll pick it up later then? Well, you just kind of did. I mean, we did. Yeah. yeah. We did. yeah. You've done that. Yep. And he gave um, a confused look oh. as if to say you didn't want paid. <laughs> Other than that, I guess I immediately know why from him. I mean, I feel like he's this man we could get from him, but I just don't know. What? <laughs> I'm really not sure what exactly he's going to know and be willing to share, to be honest. It's, it's, it is hard to judge. Like, mm. he, I think, is in it for himself, but again, like, what that means in terms of, like, who he's likely to lie for or tell the truth about is... Plus, yeah. it kind of seems like he was mostly, from what you have pieced together, mostly just seems like he got embarrassed by the drill, right? Yeah, and it did. And was like, cool, she's less than me, I will eat her. Mm -hmm. So, he did. How about this? Ah, I've got an idea. Okay. You just might not like it. <laughs> okay. The best <laughs> kind. <laughs> the best ideas. How about we tell him to get Edgar to fuck when he Absalom we don't need to go? Because it's burning. <laughs> 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 this gets him out of office. <laughs> oh, man, I quite like having Edgar around. <laughs> I mean, he's in a bit of a warp off. So, <laughs> so, I don't necessarily want him around, but <laughs> I kind of think we have to, to degree keep an eye on him. Yeah. I mean, think about the words he just said to you. What could we stop? Yeah. What, like, what could we stop doing anything if we even tried? So, well, I guess we could always observe. <laughs> always be there. Be so, values. you get the chance to say, like, a couple of, like, you could ask Himani a couple of things by the time Edgar would be walking back this way, right? So, what really do you see before Edgar would be heading back? Because uh, Edgar is heading back and is going to stand next yeah, to Hermione yeah. in a second, so... Uh, it's just a brainstorm. Well, I mean, no, like, you, if this is something that you think Zora would say, you do it. Like, you're the captain. Yeah. You are? Uh, and as we know from our good friend I'll Stephen... Leave I'll leave it. It, it's a plan. It's a plan. <laughs> but we've kind of got a plan anyway, and we've been warned against it. But we've got no other plan. All I'm going to like Manny's world and getting a reward. But perhaps we could do that first, but then would we be uh, permitted to do so by? Our That's why I kind of wanted to get rid of the Edgar. Yeah. So we could, like, kind of have the freedom to choose, because right now we're basically on a, like, one-way course to Absalom. Depends. We like can still go to Absalom after we get rid of Edgar. Like, would, you know? would you stay in your room as well? Because obviously I know that technically you and Edgar would be in the room while he asks whatever he decides to ask of Hermione. Um, but would you follow after him, or would you wait a bit after that weird encounter? Lyco. <laughs> mm. uh. Assuming you heard all of that. Yeah, I'm. I'm personally, I'm kind of just kind of waiting to see how. That, that's fine. Yeah. So I was just in case you wanted to follow it as well. Uh, so yeah. Oh no, like like. Lyco goes and checks all the guns in the older places, make sure they're all still there. Uh, right, Zora, what are you saying to him? What are you saying to good old Hamani? Then perhaps you could maybe help us not go to Absalom. Perhaps you could maybe get Mr. Uh, Wesland here. Oh, well, is he in sight? Now? Oh yeah, like, like you'll like, say some. You'll be able to say like have your whole request, and then he'll walk okay. in. Perhaps you could maybe uh, transport Mr. Wesland. I'll put him back in the room for you. Onto the stage. easier. As far as I can tell, you've got those sort of puddles, judging by the last time we met. Well, no, that was that was 
we were saying. Oh yeah. Although he can certainly teleport. <laughs> no, did he not sell? Was he not the one that sent us either? Pretty sure it was him that sent us out to the cave. What? It? it certainly seemed that way. Not into the. Oh cave. yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Okay, for We point, teleported yeah, for into the cave with the device, point, yeah. but we didn't get out with the device. Hmm. Because we just that learned the device literally right. Like, uh, that was still. a mistake. That was mm -hmm. a mistake. Yep, definitely seemed that way. It was a very uh, graceful yeah. landing in the middle of space. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, I'll stick with my comment. Like, mm -hmm. perhaps you could transport Mister Wesland onto the station for us, and that would solve our having to go to Absalom problem. He kind of looks at you and he says. Mr. Wesland and I have an arrangement in place already. I asked of you and your requirements, not of his. Our requirements right now are to get Wesland onto the station. And then as you say that, he walks round and then he, as he's sticking a cigarette in his mouth, and he's like, kind of like finger guns you, and goes, I. Uh, and then says, that's why you're my second favourite war hero. And then he does that thing where like he's, he's, he's pointing at his temples and then pointing at you. He's like, we're like-minded, you see? We're like-minded. I would roll my eyes. They scream. They scream. <laughs> hey! <laughs> they scream. Old references, you know? Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, and then he says, I'm already hitching a lift with a this one, and he kind of leans on Hermione, and Hermione just looks at his, like, arm on his shoulder. Ah! And he looks yes, up at, uh, like he looks up at Edgar, and uh, Edgar then, like, uh, stands up straight and looks back at Hermione awkwardly. Like, there's definitely a power shift between the two of them, but we don't really know what way it's going. Hmm. Uh, like Wesleyan's on top here, which is a scary one thing. Uh, mm. well, if anyone, very nervous. if anyone was paying attention to the conversation that definitely happened on the ship out with that room, there was a a chat between the Radiant Supreme, Himani, and Edgar. While you were all chatting away. That's yep. We were busy with writing things. Cheeky. I guess I would just see light minds after all. Tim hitching a ride with Hermione. And then uh, Hermione kind of tuts and goes, Yes, inspired. And he looks at you. Are we done? Uh, I would nod and say yes, because he likes to have words. <laughs> and he says. And like as like you say, he, he looks almost relieved, like his shoulders slightly slump, and uh, he's like, "Good." And good luck. And he just stares at you, very like almost as if like you can't really tell if he is or isn't actually wishing you good luck. It's almost just like it's polite to say it, given what he thinks you're going into. Obviously, you on your planet. Hopefully, your home. Yes, Sonic. that was in, <laughs> like, Triaxis. Is he Axis? Is he, is he yeah. Axis? And uh, he uh, rolls his eyes, I think. They don't scream, they're too dead inside. And then uh, oh, he uh, just grabs, like, like with a kind of, like, you know, very absentmindedly, like, slaps his hand onto Edgar's chest and kind of grips his, kind of, like, suit jacket. And then they just vanish into, like, almost like, kind of, black wisps folding into themselves like space correcting a lack of space <laughs> uh, and uh, the only the last thing you see is like Edgar smirk and like a icy glacial cool vapour left behind and they're gone well yeah the uh that goes two problems for them. There we go. <laughs> the ship uh, is so unhappy. <laughs> but power, power, power blinks back on. Yeah. 
Zig yeah. blinks back on. <laughs> I would just say. Then, like, she runs back. Captain. Yeah, Silas. And she, like, looks for a second, like she's thinking, she goes, the ship's back on. I would kind of sigh. <laughs> Thanks, Silas. <laughs> I didn't do it. Uh, we know. We know. You're fine. It was a dragon. And she kind of like looks at you, like a squint. Good dragon or a bad dragon? Um, but she's bad. Hey. <laughs> Who am I to judge? You say we should judge stuff all the time. Um. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's a figure of speech, Alex. Okay. Um, where are we going? Are we go are we going to Absalom? Something question. Um we'll turn her into. I'll probably actually call him Michael first. Yeah. I mean So uh you could just shout. <laughs> you busy? <laughs> Uh, like, I, I, like I would reappear in the room. Um, <laughs> under the table, crawls dead. out. <laughs> nah, I, I, it's I, the only I, way I, in the room. <laughs> Everyone just crawls out from under the table. <laughs> and uh, make uh, a blade erupt from his right wrist and just sort of admire it for a second <laughs> and say, you know, Captain. Mm -hmm. I've kind of always wanted to slay a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> you're just, you're the, you're despicable. I'm a chuckle. <laughs> I'm a chuckle. I was kind of gasp at that actually, just joking me. <laughs> <laughs> Michael is is just beaming, and uh, draws the blade back into his arm. The old Boreanaz so uh, phrase, yeah. <laughs> yes, I know, I know, I am who I am, right? Um, <clears throat> he sort of shakes his arm off as if, like, you know, it's gone numb or something. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, Alice, where are you actually standing? Where is she? I lost track of her. I would be standing at the entrance to the room. So cool. she's she's still at that point, or yeah. is she just there? No, she's she's just gonna. Waiting I for just, instructions. Uh, yeah. Turn to Alice. Uh, Lyco. Uh, he, uh, the dragon? Yeah, he, he's a bad guy. Okay. Uh, Edgar? Pretty, pretty sure he's like cosmic evil. Okay. No. Evil's a bit hard. We're not cosmic the good guys evil? here, but. They are the bad guys. I mean, I'm I'm not blind. I, I look at myself in the mirror every day. I know appearances uh, can be deceptive, but wait, we're Everything not the good guys. And, and Alice is just like just blinking, uh, mm -hmm. and she's like, "So, if we're not the good guys, and they're the bad guys, and..." Edgar is cosmic evil and we work for Edgar and Edgar's boss who tried to have Edgar killed it seems and a black dragon that's bad are we we are bad no we're the no. little people and she looks at Zig and just has like an open mouth as if she's mid sentence but doesn't say anything and then just like turns back and goes I am confused we're the people that when I you know 
being that could devour all of us. And then as soon as you say that, she goes, oh, and then runs to the cargo hold because the power went out and the containment oh, field no. for the... Oh, God, no. So <laughs> she, as soon as you say being that could devour all of us, she goes, oh, and then runs for the, the cargo hold. <laughs> I uh, shake my head. Uh, <laughs> did that get six. Nix's attention when it's just... Uh, that one did. Yeah, so I think as you both bolt, uh, to the cargo hold, you just see the like assembly ooze just slowly consuming the desk worktop. <laughs> Reposition all the shielding. And uh, well, if you want to go to the computer and uh, give me a computer check, uh, and Alice will be like, "I don't need to go to the computer. I can do it from twenty feet away now." Well, why don't you? Yeah, I'll stand on the other side of the room. You sassy uh, Wi-Fi boy. <laughs> 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 Which is awesome, by the way. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. There you go. Fun. So yeah, you can like reprep <laughs> the chamber, but you need to get the cube in the chamber. Uh. <laughs> Might I add my suggestion that Alice says to you yeah. is that none of us should touch it. Lyco, can you come in here, please? because I'm in anathema to technology. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was in the middle, as they're doing that, of explaining to Zeg why we're not the bad. Well, like, like, let's, let's have that scene, right? So they rush off, and then what do you it say? It needs to take, like, a second. Because yeah? I, I would say, like, because I would overhear, like, you know, you, you had the same question as Alice. Right? Are we, are we the bad guys? Well, let me put it this way. When something like whatever the hell Edgar is or a black dragon tells a normal person what to do do you think you get a refuse? no I've worked as a cop, you don't get a refuse a job because the guy you work for is the law well sometimes when you're a black dragon you're the law because anyone who tells you you're not you'll eat them or breathe fire on them. So glad Alice isn't is. hearing this because this is the best lesson to learn. <laughs> okay, like y y y you have to just go. Oh, okay, Mister Terrifying Monster. I'll do what you say because he's a terrifying monster. Hmm. I am aware of the irony, but you know. You still have I your blade out. <laughs> no, I was going. I might look like something, but I am <laughs> just a guy. I I'm not. I'm not anything too terribly special. Those are, and we don't, we don't get to choose our battles. They're the guys that choose the battles. They're the guys that make the wars. We just have to deal with the mess. Hmm. Okay. And hey, I've... look, if I were that bad, the stewards wouldn't still be friends with me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Harsh cut to like all stewards kind of almost being not dicks to you but busy except obviously your commander who obviously respected your results and Shakos who probably has a thing for you. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe we just get shots of you and Shakos drinking and laughing and it's no other stewards just you two. <laughs> hey, I, I, think, I think he probably had some other... Yeah friends or associates within the street. Well, as I said, you so definitely had, like, um, you probably had a decent career when you were there, like, you definitely had a, you know, you got stuff done, you did what you were told, you kept your head down until your head was then hit by necrotic energy, and then, <laughs> yeah. like, th these and things happen. And I kept down yeah. only briefly. But then you got back <laughs> up again. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, I just wanted to, to say that to, to Zeg, because Lyco feels yeah. very strongly, just out of character for a second, that, like, we're not the bad guys, we're mucking around doing what we have to do, and it's ugly uh -huh. and messy sometimes. Uh, but he wouldn't like the idea of Zeg sort of thinking, oh god, you know, have I signed up for the wrong team because he likes Zeg, and, you know, he feels vaguely protective of Zeg, so... Yeah. Anyway. Okay. I, yeah, I, th I think of that, Zeg would, like, stand up and um, just, like, start leaving to go over to the sort of Radiant Supreme. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he'd kind of, I think he'd pass Lyco and he'd say, for the record, I think you're pretty special. And then just keep going. <laughs> yeah. I like the idea that maybe Lyco's shots just 
mild confusion. It's like, does yeah. he mean that as an incel or as a <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know that's that seems pretty good. Yeah. Um Cool. Uh do you wanna I think with that as well, you just hear uh like oh, can you come in here? <laughs> so yeah, do you head to the in fact did you use both actually? Head to the cargo bay. I certainly will. Zora? Uh, yes. Don't know if you missed the part where um you know Glyco's words were, you know, devouring monster dot 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 devours <laughs> all and then Alice went, Oh, the ooze and ran <laughs> to the uh, cargo hold because the power went out. So Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so then her and Nix ran off to the cargo hold. Uh Lyco justified his evils and then uh <laughs> you heard Nick shout, Lyco, could you come in here? <laughs> Um, I will come in as sort of like as we're heading. So if they're asking for my help, that's probably a bad sign, right? <laughs> I would raise my eyebrow. It's like <laughs> when like the kids and the the couple like in the room like mm-hmm. like shout for somebody else. No, <laughs> you, mum. But you, mum. <laughs> no, do you hear this well? Then do you follow? Him? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah. So you just head that way, and we'll come back to you in a second. Zig, do you, are you going to go in the room or just wait outside it? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll bring the buzzer, de buzzer, buzzer thing. Yeah, and you just hear the rasp, 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 when then you know some rumbling, yeah. and then the door slides open eventually with him kind of like pawing at the wall, <laughs> and it's that wet heat that hits you again. Yeah, and he just kind of like looks at you. Sighs really heavily and smiles really kind of like kind of brightly, and he's like, "Come on!" Kind of, he kind of almost pulls you in, and then kind of like you know, and you come and you come kind of way, mm-hmm. and then just kind of like sits you down, and then he kind of just like potters around, like sloshing a towel around his feet and stuff. Mm-hmm. He seems to be like. Trying to tidy the room up, but the room's a sweaty, wet mess. So, uh, I think Zig would just kind of sit himself down somewhere. Yeah, and it's like really, like hot, like uncomfortably, like wet. As I said, and kind of like Humid. yeah, like loosen his collar a wee bit, and I say, so. And he kind of like he stops, like kind of shuffling around, and then just stops and kind of looks back at you because you've kind of went so, and then you just sat there, and he's kind of like, yeah. You lied. And he kind of like stands up straight for a second and blinks as if in shock. Like, did I? And he kind of like chuckles once as if oh. Disbelief. Mm-hmm. And Zig, Zig would just nod and go, hmm. And he kind of like does that thing where he, like, he goes to the edge of the bed and just like kind of like flumps himself down and puts like his hands on his his thighs and goes, What did I lie about? This underwater accent is fucking brilliant, by the way. <laughs> I love it's it. Fantastic. It's fantastic. <laughs> wonderful. Um, <coughs> it's very cool. um, and Zig would say, you said you didn't know what that thing is, was. I mean, can I just sighs? Like a very heavy sigh. And it says, Truthfully, I don't. Zig sits there, kind of speechless and unable to comprehend. Yeah, because it's like a mystic bullshit you. answer, right? It's a proper yeah. like. So, uh, there's a, maybe there's that nice shot of like an awkward silence, and we hear like a clanging in the background of the ship somewhere, um, and uh, we'll get to whatever that was in a second, and uh, he he breaks the silence and he says. I know many things. I'm not always aware if they are true. (laughs) 
I think Zig makes that face. You know when. <laughs> yeah, when all the you know equations appear in your head. And you're like, <laughs> yeah. It's always saying something that just you're sitting there going, "What are you talking about?" Yeah, I get that face a lot. <laughs> just complete disbelief of, like, no, not disbelief. Dis um, I don't even know what the word is. Incredulosity. <laughs> yeah, sure. We'll go with that. <laughs> yeah. I think that actually is like the right word. Mm -hmm. Incredulousness, yeah. maybe would be. I think uh, close enough. An air of incredulosity. Incredulity. 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 That's the word. There we go. Zig gives a, a look of incredulity. Okay. We got there. We got there between us. Yay! Go team. Team work. Aren't we good? <laughs> Still feel like that that gif is apt, but yeah. Um, so yeah, the Radiant Supreme kind of getting like size again, and then he kind of gets that you're obviously not satisfied with that, and he kind of like stands up very like laboriously. Well, I do he's, wouldn't be satisfied with that. He's still only like in a in a towel, like a, from the waist down, and he kind of like shuffles over, sloshing that towel on the floor, out of the way. And he, he kind of like puts a hand on your shoulder, and then he kind of just says, well, "Unfortunately, life is often disappointing, young Zig." They could look up and just be, "Hmm, yes, it seems to be." And he kind of like, he, he kind of nods to you. Rough. And he says, because uh, you're still wearing the amulet around your neck, right? Yes. And he kind of just like, you know, with a hand still on your shoulder, his other hand just kind of like pokes you on the amulet itself. And it like digs in a tiny bit. I think Zig would flinch at that. Guard this well. Zig blink <laughs> once, like a big decisive, mm -hmm. like a... It's like a blink you would notice. Yeah, and I think um, in that in that moment as well, like the Radiant Supreme seems like bigger than he's ever seemed before for you. Um, almost imposing. Like he's never... Mm. It's not even that... Zig might feel this. You can tell me what Zig feels. I'll describe like what it kind of appears to be. But it's like he's trying to convey severity without it coming across like a threat. But it could definitely uh -huh. be interpreted very threateningly. Like you've never seen this side of him before. You've yeah. never like felt scared of him before, and except maybe back in the temple during graduation. Obviously, when you get you got to see him kind of unleash his ability. Um, yeah. But yeah, so it, yeah, there's a brief moment where the severity of the situation, where he, like general sense motive for me, actually. Sure. Yeah, let's do that because I want to give you more, but I don't know how much his egg would pick up. Sensei. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Ha ha! Badoop! <laughs> no. Yeah. Very average. So you can interpret Sen it. Sensei's motive. <laughs> <laughs> so you you interpret that how you will. Like how does Zig take that scene? You tell me. Um. I think I think at first he'd he'd feel like he's like th this is like very intimidated and just. Not sure how to handle the situation at all, um, but I I kind of think he'd probably have that sort of flash, like with Radiant Supreme being all supreme uh, mm -hmm. back yeah. in the temple, and kind of he probably had quite a a very sort of oh this is a really intimidating imposing figure now, um sort of ever since then anyway. Yeah, it's not um, just a jolly old like man looking after like a bunch of wayward kids, right? Yeah. He's now like you've you've yeah. saw him actually unleash why he's called the Radiant Supreme. Yeah. Um so I think I think Session zero for those interested. Yeah, so you just, just listen. Or don't whatever. <laughs> um <laughs> Buy your T shirts. <laughs> Buy your T shirts. Um, Buy your merch. <laughs> uh I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> so you were saying how Zig um, was interpreting, obviously, the fact that he... he oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, so I think, yeah, he'd have that sort of flash to 
to then and the like the two feelings the similar feelings of kind of you know they'd connect if that makes sense uh yeah you know, at first yeah at first he'd be really sort of intimidated and taken aback but then he'd have that yeah at first you like, were afraid back to that and then then he was uh and then he was petrified mm -hmm. and uh Something, something, something and by your uh, side. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, because uh, okay, so, so I, have, I have the sentence I want to say, and mm. like the words are just not coming out my mind. So, like, you were saying how obviously you're getting both senses of the intimidation initially and then the severity of what he's trying yeah. to convey. Um, mm -hmm. and it's like in a tiny, the tiniest, briefest moment that he seems this imposing figure. Um, and as I said, like you don't really get why it became so intense. Um, like you've tried to suss it out, but obviously your ten doesn't really get you much. Um, so it really is just a weird, a weird moment of intensity. Yeah. Normally he's kind of cookie old man, no straight answers, blah blah blah. This seemed very direct, you know. Guard this well. <laughs> yeah. So I, th I think, but basically at the end of that, I think he'd just, um, take like a deep breath of the the moist air, mm -hmm. and um, kind of draw himself up to like a, a more like you you know when you're kind of younger and you try and make yourself seem like you're more mature than you mm -hmm. are by kind of standing up slightly more straight. Mm -hmm. Um. And he does that, and he just he grab the amulet and just nod. And then, um, I think like he lets go of like your shoulder, but that kind of almost letting his hand fall to the side, in a way. Uh huh. Almost then a kind of he's letting you go. Mm hmm. Kind of vibe you pick up on, and he he says. You have still to find your spell. And he kind of like, he pauses and kind of like exhales again, really like kind of heavily. And he says, It's a shame you think you've found me. I think at that, Zig would just kind of get up and just slowly just leave. Mm -hmm. I think we just have that shot from like outside the room where like the door opens. Like, you walk away out of the shot, and then it's just, like, the door open, and inside the room it's the Radiant Supreme, and he kind of just, like, his shoulders slump, and the door closes. And we click mm. to the, uh, cargo bay. So, uh, yeah. What happens in the cargo bay? What do Lyco and Zora walk in on? I imagine at this stage it's probably uh, Nix and Alice standing <laughs> kind of close to the back wall. <laughs> uh, so it's just both of us on crates. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, kind of. Yeah. So like checking, I've got, I've got the containment field set up. I mean, the bad thing for everybody at home who has forgotten, that's the official art for this creature, and I do not blame them for being on crates. Since that <laughs> is very much an android yep. being eaten by this. So the official art is not foreboding at all. As the door opens they walk in, I just say, uh, I didn't do it this time. And then but. Alice just like has her hands on her hips instantly and just looks at you with like a shocked face. <laughs> like she feels betrayed. <laughs> yeah, no shit, power went out. Um... What? What do you want me to do? Well, it, it does occur it, to me. It really is. Yes, that that's what occurs to me. Are Are we sure it'll only eat inorganics? Alice like stops and kind of like looks as if she's thinking about it, <laughs> really disconcertingly. Do you have something organic you can throw at it? We've got food. Did you bring any with you? It, you know, it didn't occur to me. Uh, <laughs> I'll be right back. 
I'll throw a ration in it. I've always got rations. Don't worry, lads. I've got this one. <laughs> this is how he looks so imposing in his armour. He pads it with rations. Right, as I turn to leave, the cab just immediately lobs a ration across the room. <laughs> Uh, no, no, no. Like, if you want to throw <laughs> <Thank> a ration. <laughs> <laughs> um, plus, can't you just psychokinetic hand it into it? Yes, I can. You could just grab it, you hand it in, right? So, yeah, I've got to grab it, hand it in. Because right. I don't use it ever. Yeah, so and, and an actual. <laughs> I love that you're using fucking gravity manipulation to put a ration into a fucking assembly ooze. It's <laughs> fantastic. Well, We've we'll got the equipment, so might as well make hmm. day, you know. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so you push the ration into the assemblies. Uh, did you like? Did you remove the contents from the wrapper, or did you leave it in the wrapper? Yeah, yeah, I left it. The contents of the wrapper. Yeah. And I have the left out. We'd probably just get chewed up. Biodegradable world in the future, right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> and uh, like you put like the thing in, and you just do you like sit it on top of it. Do you push it into it as if you know. Oh, like, just plop it on top. Plop it on top. Yeah, and yeah. you hear like a a, a, a kind of a light hissing sound uh, as the thing sinks in to the uh, the ooze, and then and you just slowly see the wrapper be eaten away, and then. You know, the food itself breaks up a bit, but for the most part, it just looks like you know, as if someone took a chocolate bar and broke it up. Huh. Um, it's just need a guy with you. It, I mean, didn't look good for the. Just depends how much you consider the rations organic material, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Alice, I think, just turns to um, Lyco after he said, "Doesn't look good." He's like. Yeah, I don't want to be that. Yeah, me neither. Uh, the good How news big is... is this? What's that? Hmm? How big is this? It's again? a five foot cube. Yeah, I can't do anything with it. <laughs> I can't b- move it because I need to be fully assured to move that big. <laughs> right, someone fight. Fight Zora. I can't have a fight with me. Punch me <laughs> 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 I can only do it if someone punches me <laughs> <laughs> for three rounds. <laughs> it is nonsense. Oh. <laughs> it's technically a bit more technical than that. Yeah. I've really touched the opponent, but I'm actually supposed to technically be asking some like sun gods for power and like if, mm-hmm. they, if the fight's like Worthy. one guy like a hobo, they would just like say fuck off, you're not getting your armor. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, you have to be worthy of it. Yeah. Oh, so it's the Edge Lord armor you've got, remember? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, the Obsidian Star. That's it. That's it. That's the one. It's probably a bit chunkier now that it's labeled up. Aye. More layers that... of black on black. Yes, yeah, blackly black. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this thing's just slowly eating its way through a desk. Uh, how do we get rid? Of the, how do we move this? Because <laughs> yeah, this I, is a uh... problem. <laughs> <laughs> been a year coming. I'm really not sure how to deal with this. Uh, I can really like, pull the desk and like kind of cart it back in the, like, the, the, the desk. Uh, <laughs> can I try this? Uh, sure. Just cart it in the desk. <laughs> but no, like, perhaps we could cart it in the desk. Mm-hmm. It's a terrible idea. Sure. Terrible idea. Go we'll try it, screw it. Right, we'll so you're gonna like we'll drag what remains of we'll the. Let. So you wanna take its food away? Quite, no, I'm kind of. It's on top of it, right? I'm it, just kind of no, it like, kind of is in. It's over half of it. Oh, right, 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 right Yeah, right. it's kind of. It, like, imagine that really? it started uh, here and then it just kept going forward, eating the desk. And we just like throw the food in the containment bay. <laughs> <laughs> what food? What, in the containment bay what, food? <laughs> what food? Uh, <laughs> I looked to my left. 
I think Alice is like thumbing towards Nyx 5 when you do that. Mm -hmm. Nyx. (laughs) Yes. You're up for a mission. (laughs) (laughs) I'm probably laughing at this, to be honest with you. He's probably finding this quite hilarious. Yeah, and I think Alice like hits you in the chest, like with her kind of like the back of her hand, as if to stop you. And she's like, "Don't do it." Like she's like dead serious. She thinks he's been like, you know. <laughs> Alas, Captain Knife, I think I have to stay near the containment field so that I can switch it back on. And Alice, well. like Alice, nods slowly at you and says, "Mutiny is always an option." How? <laughs> How? How do we deal with this thing? Like, seriously, I have no idea. And then Alice goes to say something and then stops herself because she has no answer. (laughs) 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 Well, so, uh, Nyx needs to operate the containment field. Then that leaves only one other option, and he looks at Alice. <laughs> You're right, I should check on the cockpit. And then she, like, rushes oh. past you. I'm going to, like, grab her by the shoulder. <laughs> hey, do you want to make, make a grapple check, yeah? Are we, it's are we... not going to happen. Right, what have you got? What, is it athletics? Is that a thing in this? It's a, athletics is a thing in this, yeah. Yeah, cool. Yes. Roll. What'd you get? 27. Oh, that's nice. Let's see if she can beat you. Did I code her? Let's find out. Hey, let's see. <laughs> uh, just, she got a 29. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> She breaks away. Uh, yeah. I forgot these rules were set to private. I don't think I can actually show that now that it's been ruled. Uh, let me just... I'll just do a I believe everybody said. Let's see. I expected as much, to be honest with you. She's a beefy girl. Even though she's not as beefy anymore. But I'm sure she's still got the beef. It's in our chat, as in our Facebook chat. If MD cares for it, I don't mind showing that. Cool. So she d- she did just get it, like definitely not much in it. I think the last time this happened, there wasn't much in it either. To be honest, uh, you and SK in the corridor. Yeah, the, the corridor no longer exists anymore. Uh, I'm an athletic man. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I think like you go to stop her, and then she kind of just barges past. So it's more like you go to stop her, and then she just like power armor suits her way past without specifically trying to push past it's yeah, more just, just a by before I can get in the way properly mm. really kind of idea <laughs> yeah like you know when you got to brace yourself for someone and you weren't quite ready for it so you kind of get knocked back a tiny bit aye so yeah she she makes it past and she goes sorry Gavin and then would sigh and goes, um, goes my idea <laughs> Would Zig be done with the Radiant Supreme by that point? Oh yeah, like that's probably the the clank noise that you heard as uh, Zora probably hits off the door frame. Yeah, so cool. Hit... Um, I think I think if if you, like kind of walked past Alice, he'd go to the direction that she's gone from. Yeah, so you're uh, going towards the cargo bin. Kind of, you know, was to surround himself with familiar face. <laughs> yeah. They can head to the cargo bay as well. Go move every day up a tiny bit so you can fit in the room. Yeah, just all shuffling. <laughs> so. Hi, Cap. Oh dear. Yes. What do you want? Oh. Any idea how to do with us? Um. <laughs> um. I think it's a good climb up Nix's back. So climb up onto a crate and then onto yeah. his back. I'm just like, oh, yeah. yeah. Do you have any tricks, Zig? I'm just scrolling through my spell list right now. <laughs> you mean you didn't take handle assembly ooze? No, I didn't, oddly enough. 
Oh, here I've got a great idea. <laughs> uh, wait, hold on. I need to read it first. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. Oh, what an amazing um, idea this could be. Um, okay. If I got psychokinetic can, so we could take a. F I mean, you have it. I have absolutely no idea what I could actually do here. I thought it's like, I thought it's like does, did as well. I know that Thiggy does now. Um, Okie dokie. Back at Kinetic Hands, yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, I'm glad I, I, was, I was like, uh, there's no way I'll ever need to use this spell, but I want to take it, and I did take it, so I, I want to. Mind I want link. to go up to it and cast light, Life Bubble on it. Right. Okay. Can you read me Life Bubble? I can. You surround the target creature with a constant and movable one inch shell of tolerable living conditions, customized for each creature. This shell enables the target to breathe freely in a variety of atmospheric blah 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 blah. Um. It, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. asking the Tasmanian devil to read me the rules of something. <laughs> yeah, like most. Uh, I'm just trying to kind of skim over all the. Oh, it protects you from diseases and poisons and stuff. And blah blah blah. Yep. Um. Uh, life bubble doesn't provide protection from any damage, but I, eh, da, da, da. it also doesn't provide the ability to see in conditions or whatever, uh, or the ability to move or act normally in conditions that would impede movement, such as underwater. Mm. Sugar boy. Page three six three, I believe. So, I said that. You're gonna put a bubble around it. Yeah. Okay. Range is what, okay. 30 foot or something, right? Uh, range, range is, is uh, 100 feet. Uh, even better. Plus 10 feet per level, so cool. So within range. I think that's within, within range. Unless the scale of the ship is so off, it's a... Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can uh, um, target it, yeah? Sure. Bubble. I'm gonna give it a give it a bash. This is gonna be like the worst like cast I've ever done. It's gonna be rubbish. Did I click it? I don't know if I did. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a pretty good cast. I I mean I don't think this has any spell resistance. So yeah, it just gets put in a bubble. Yeah. I mean it still carries on eating the desk, just with an air bubble around it. Okay, uh, sorry. Can Does we, that help? Can we move the bubble? It yeah. says movable. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying to just quickly scan it, see if it says anything about moving it. But it's not like you put it in a marble. When it says movable, presumably it means it can be shoved, right? I think it means it moves with the target, because it's a life bubble. So it's not like you cast it and then you walk out of it and you suffocate. It's just no, cast on you and it comes with you. Yeah, but if if the mob, the bubble itself is movable, that would sort of suggest the bubble's moving rather than the object's moving and the bubble's following? No, no, I think or it's like definitely meant to mean the object moves and the bubble follows. A bit like casting light on someone's jacket, you know? And then they still glow yeah, where they walk. Because the whole point of it is that you don't suffocate in space. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But that would presumably mean, like... Right, so if something else moved, interacted with the bubble, it would just, what, not respond? Or would it move with you? Or would you be able to, and it would an external factor, be able to shove you and the bubble would move with you? Is, is, that, is that the reading? Um, well, it's not like an impenetrable force field. It so, just uh, keeps harmful environments out. Okay. If that makes sense. So that's like you would just walk in the bubble. Ah. Rats. <laughs> well, I tried, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> Cause there's a way you can cast it, I'm sure, where um let's see. Up to one creature per level, no two of which can be more than thirty feet apart. Yeah, because you can put a bubble over multiple people as well. Oh. 
That's quite nice. It's, oh. a, it's a really cool spell. I actually took it from my, my throw together character build. But yeah, it's basically that aura the Green Lantern rings give the Green Lanterns yeah, so they yeah. can survive in space. And uh, the piece of art for it is actually really awesome. Although, and it just again, like, so if head. someone shoved in like Hal's aura, it would move Hal. No, you'd actually just shove Hal, really. No, because it's a physical thing that can be touched. Mm, I would disagree with that. It'd be different if How was using his. I mean, if, it'd be different if How was shielding himself from damage, as opposed to just having the survive in space glow. But the cement. I mean, obviously, it, the, 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 how how Green Lantern works and how this works don't necessarily. Yeah, go exactly. But like <laughs> this is a bubble. It stops atmosphere. Okay. It's not an impenetrable force field. It's a level one spell. So you'd walk up. You'd push through the bubble because you're not in a harmful environmental effect, and then you'd touch the ooze. If I had a curry oh. yesterday, it'd definitely be a harmful environmental effect. But, <laughs> but we would hope you'd cast the bubble on yourself and contain it from us, though. Um, oh, God. Oh. That would be awful. So, sincerely, mm. I have no idea how to respond to like, moving this thing around and. What 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 do you think? Like, how, how how do we do this? <laughs> As I said, it's been a year coming. Helpful. <laughs> yeah, should have probably thought of this. <laughs> hey, Manny, um, about that boon. <laughs> 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 what, what what say? Uh, you get rid of the old air. Uh... Calling her Manny. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, hold on to something and open all the airlocks. <laughs> I mean, this does open to space. This room. It does, yes. <laughs> Probably be venting a lot of other stuff with it, but that's Yeah, fine. just whatever's in these really mysterious crates. Green. Don't, don't want to lose the ooze. Don't <laughs> lose the ooze! <laughs> I don't want to lose the ooze either, I mean... That's, that's like part of the crew, really man. <laughs> you need to vent it, personally. What if, what if you move the containment field to the ooze? Um, it did only take a couple hours to build where it is. Yeah, can it? Is it portable? <laughs> can I thought it was before? installed in the ship. Wait. Oh no, 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 no! It wasn't it? Was we? So you took it from yeah. the storage room in yeah, the lab. Yeah. Then you so jerry rigged it into place where it is. So it may not work if we moved it though. You could. Uh, like, let's put it this way, between the lot of you, you could get it working anywhere in the ship it can fit, right? It, would, it wouldn't look pretty, but you could definitely get the thing powered anywhere in the ship Perhaps if you could if move you it. move it to the thing, rig it up to activate it, and then move it while it's active, if we did it in the right way. Sure. How are you going to get the ooze onto the thing? That's we'll the just sort of shove it over. Let's just lift the desk. it and make a line of of. What's to stop the ooze just eating the the framework of it? We'll switch on very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What what was Zig said here? <laughs> it's okay, so shoot the ooze. You could I'll initiate combat. <laughs> Can we <laughs> grappling hook the ooze? What if you cut the ooze in half? <laughs> and then we have two oozes. Wait, that doesn't make anything better. <laughs> um need to like qual the ooze for me to lift it beside <laughs> cooking it. Four smaller problems, yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. What if we use psych psychokinetic hands to like poke it around <laughs> while we get it into the containment field to stop it eating the frame? Mm. Sort of poke it away from the edges. Mm. <laughs> 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 so, oh, that was a problem. Uh, yeah. I've got an idea. Okay. 
it's kind of slow to eat certain things. Oh, it's. I mean, put it this way: see by the time you have taken to debate over this, it's probably going to be finished with that desk soon. What if we throw a crate over it, stick a lid on it, and just carry it over to the containment field really quickly? Yeah, oh, if yeah, we get more than the size to fit it, um, <laughs> which we might do. Do not keep the crate that we previously had? Do we not keep that? You mean the, the thing it ate? When it came in. Oh, was it? Yeah, it ate, yeah, it ate it. <laughs> it ate it and then we, we slid it. We, we slid. Just... We've got a gravity slid thing. It was the bottom of the crate that it ate its way out of. So if we just pour some of your grain out and throw a box over it. I mean, you have big boxes, right? There's two in this room. Um, yeah. There's two in this room, and then there's obviously two in the other room. I don't know what's in those. So, like... We'll just empty them out onto the floor for now. We'll just, we'll just empty this big box here onto the flare. Mm. <laughs> and we'll, we'll, I'll, like, I'll, I'll, like, chuck a bit of this desk inside it, and then we'll <laughs> hopefully sliver its ass in. All right, let's we'll just scoop it up. Hmm. Let's see. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so, Probably slider in a glass. It's absolute nonsense, but I do love it because it is something that you have been having to have dealt with for many, many moons now. Let's see. Where is this? Who oh, is he to tell us the secrets of the ooze? Oh, it's the secret of the ooze. It's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles film. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, do, I, do, I do love those movies. <laughs> they are nonsense and great. I feel like a secret of the ooze title was coming, man. I've, I've brought it up a couple of times and planted <laughs> the seed, man. I've planted the seed. <laughs> yeah, but no one ever spends time trying to learn the ooze's ways. I love that. It's always just, we have this ooze. It's in a container, so that's good enough for now. It's part of the crew, man. Part of the ship, part of the crew. It is currently <laughs> eating the ship, but yeah, sure. Um, and the, some of the crew are, are trying to avoid being eaten. Can I try to speak to it? Part of the <laughs> ship, part of the you. Part of the ship, part of the you. <laughs> <laughs> that feels more accurate, to be honest. Um, I mean, there's nothing to stop you trying to speak to it. I'm not trying to speak to it. Maybe it's like there is no awful. <laughs> what, like yaff it? <laughs> <laughs> just misunderstood. I'm just been stuck in, stuck in this containment field for you, <laughs> yeah, man. Nobody even spoke to me. I was on mute the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> a year. Who would have thought? Um, How's it go, buddy? I'm just having a snack. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, the plan no, is no. to go empty. A box. Yeah. Empty a, a crate. And then just what, scoop like, it up. Scoop it up. Scoop it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's going to be doing all this? Because that crate is big. Uh, Captain's pretty strong. Captain. Captain is not. Zig is not strong. I love it. But you're the Vesk, of course you must be a strength primary. I mean, I think my strongest, strongest option left to them. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, you're you're probably not wrong. I've got one mod in strength. It's I've got a minus one. I've got one. <laughs> I've got one. <laughs> two cool. could be actually. Two, 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 no. Two so you're the strongest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. strong, yes. And I mean, you're <clears> welcome <throat> to take your time to do this. I mean, I have no issue with like a bunch of people helping because let's face it, it's a big crate. You could feasibly all be helping. Um, uh, I mean, they, yes, they could be. Yep. <laughs> I've got to operate the machine, <laughs> and I can't do. I, I had to be right next to the machine to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's not a part of this job. <laughs> can, can, can you roll bluff, Nix? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I can. Please do. <laughs> right, so I think literally. <laughs> and that's with a minus what, two? That's a minus one. So I rolled a one and I have a minus one. <laughs> I think 
What Nick says is something on the lines of, Thanks to my new Wi-Fi implant that allows me to operate machinery from a distance, I'll need to be right next to the machine to operate it. <laughs> <laughs> or Thanks, some, some, something to that effect. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect roll, thank you so much. That was such a perfect roll. <laughs> dear God, so, so good. Oh, dear. Perfect. That's bro, I love it. Oh, the D20 loves me. Mm -hmm. I would have had it another way. Uh, yeah, so... So, yeah. You don't even need to roll to know that you bullshitted that, obviously. Um. Can't help, Nix. <laughs> <laughs> Reluctantly, Nyx walks over and starts unstuffing <laughs> the crate. Yeah, so you tip all the stuff out of the crate. Go around the edge of the room. Right, okay. Yeah, I'll go with this. Get in with this. Okay, cool. Uh, so the thing starts to eat the other side of the desk. Quickly. <laughs> Scoop it. Happily. Yeah, I'll just uh, the desk at this point. There we go. I have adjusted the desk. It's now a smaller desk. <laughs> <laughs> that horrible kind of hissing sound buzzing away. Yeah, makes sense to me. Good. Hissing sound buzzing away. Good, good, good. Uh, right, cool. So you empty the crate. Onto the floor. <laughs> <laughs> My crew. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the victims. <laughs> Captain, we found the last crew. Good news, <laughs> old crew. <laughs> oh, you're dead. <laughs> um. Yep. It's on the water, Captain. <laughs> Alright, he's empty. Empty all of the the contents of the crate out. <laughs> Stuff from a previous campaign, perhaps. Um. <laughs> Some books are good. And uh, yeah, cool. Uh, this is why all your new crew members probably wouldn't die from starvation immediately. I paid them well. Is I think the line. <laughs> <laughs> Give them a a, a a pharaoh's death, I guess. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, right. How the fuck are you doing this? Who's all giving me athletics checks for this absolute nonsense? I need some. Uh, I need uh, so. I need somebody to yeah. aim the crate. So who hasn't rolled yet? I mean, well, nobody. Well, right, good. Rolled, so. Right, so we're gonna roll. Roll is perfect. I need a bunch of people to help move the thing fast, and then I need somebody to guide the crate. So you just decide okay. who's doing what. Uh, I'll, I'll do the guiding because yep. I probably have. Uh, well, who has the best athletic? What's you? Um, um, nine. Not me. So, <laughs> athletics to move it, and then I'll what skills do we have for shouting at each other? Diplomacy, yeah, maybe? Um, I always need a skill list. Why do I never have a skill list when I need one? Let me go get a page with a skill list on it. Skills on that page. Can I say pilot for steering it? You can definitely say it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me have a look. It could be a good shout, though. Um, Skills. Let's What's see. the difference between a box and this spaceship, anyway? In this situation, box. one is being eaten. Yeah, but <laughs> that's only a matter of time. Indeed. <laughs> 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 I don't know if that's comforting or uh, not, mostly. Uh, right, let's see. What have we got? Where's my skill summary? I wish this page was logged in my mind. Let me scroll. Probably perception for guiding it, really. Isn't it? I don't so. know. We'll find out. Um, skill summary, right? So, none of those, none of those, none of those, none of those. Um, right. Okay. So, who's who's going to do the guiding? Because I feel like it's going to be acrobatics as a shout. Uh, let's see, diplomacy as a shout for literally shouting at people. Uh, I have twelve in acrobatics. I'm pretty sure I'd get my bonus on top of that. 
I mean, where does your bonus come from? What's it for? Oh no, my bonus is, is no, my bonus doesn't go. In, you know how I get a bonus to literally everything. Mm. Yep. Uh, yeah, because you're an operative, and that's how they roll. Uh, survival is also a shout, I'd say, realistically. So, yeah, acrobatics, diplomacy, survival. There's like different approaches you could take to this. Yeah. So I've got a uh, total. Four, no, I think maybe it's just 12, but there should be a plus 2 to everything from... It's not showing up in this... Ah! It's a guiding acrobatics, sorry. Um. So, acrobatics, uh, or diplomacy, or survival, depending on how the, you approach it. I've got a 6 in survival, a 2 in diplomacy, and a 12 in acrobatics. Uh, I've got a a and I levy profession for me. <laughs> I'd probably be doing a lot of creative hogging in my profession. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. So I will like acrobatics for it then. Yeah, that might make sense. You can do the guiding. Yep. Go for it. Okay, so you're the person at the front of the trolley, steering the front of the trolley, while everybody else is pushing the trolley, as it were. Oh my god. That's the lowest I can roll. That's impressive that yes. if that's the lowest you can roll. <laughs> yeah. um, oh yeah, my two eggs isn't included in it, so yeah. That's, uh, mm -hmm. So is that uh, higher? No, no, the two eggs, sorry, I meant to say yeah. the two eggs included, it just doesn't show up on my skill sheet because um, uh. because Alex actually knows how to code things. Um, <laughs> 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 the stuff oh. that I do is not that nice. Um, that was a compliment. Thank you. I think actually does know shit. I don't, I don't know. I, I yes, don't enjoy some life. Yep. So, that is a successful attempt, I assume? It's an attempt. Even it's bad. I mean, come on! An attempt. 15, how hard can it be to move well, a trolley? It's more about where you're moving it to, because you're basically telling everyone, like, pivot, 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 shove! Um. Right, can everybody else give me strength checks then? Uh, and by that I mean athletics, of course. Yeah. Of course. Good luck. <laughs> Boom, natural 20. <laughs> I do ones and twenties. Dear okay. God. So, everybody grips the crate, and then the two actual, like, the power armoured android <laughs> and the Vesk push the crate, and Zig just moves with the crate hanging Zig off of it. Mm -hmm. off the bottom. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of dangling down there, yeah. Dear God. Um, okay, I'm going to make the... When did this become a slap stick? Oh, I mean... It's Guardians, right? It was always going to be. Uh, right, so I get a deck save. That's our reflex save. I think that seems fair. Where's our group? Group B with the Oros. Uh, yeah. We've, I think technically Zig is your group. So. Zig? How can you know what they do? Just make a tree around them, right? You're a Xenodruid mystic, right? No? Okay. <laughs> it's a space druid mystic. Uh, by the way, just so you know, Lyco. Guess who dodged it? What? Uh, the assemblers. It's reflex check. 19 versus your 17. Or your 15, sorry. Can you just not see that? No? I am confused. Yeah, I can see this. Wait, 19. What? It dodged your, your, your aiming of the box, so we just pushed the box. Dodged. Okay, right. Yep. Okay. Should we go back for round two? Sorry, I was not. Okay. Yeah, because you're trying to like <laughs> capture something okay. that is aware. <laughs> yep. So, yep. Yeah, just want to give it another go? Yes. Um. Sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is just for parody mode. I mean, it's a nice tonal <laughs> shift for a change. <laughs> uh, I, I can acrobatics again. Yep. I do have... I like that. As I say, that was the worst I could roll. Indeed, right? Oh, and that was the best well. the ooze could roll. Yeah, it's not like it's designed to dodge. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, well, yeah. So, now, do you want to give me some strength checks? Oh, Oops, that's an acrobatics, sorry. That is an acrobatics. Uh, that was, okay, I went... Acrobatics. 
I yeah, rolled a, a one. Plus. It's the same plus. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could use it if you wanted. Uh, but there you go. Nineteen. Can, oh, wow. I wow. can only roll ones and twenties. I'm sorry. That's okay. So go. That's not bad. See if you can use the same roll. Uh, yeah, yeah, like you's you managed to scoop it up this time because uh, obviously if I roll, it doesn't matter, right? Because <laughs> look at that. A one. Jesus. <laughs> one. It's Oof. just wobbles. Yeah, I think it's because it's obviously it's dodged out of the way of this like desk it's trying to eat, or the half a desk that's left, and then obviously it looks How back. I say looks very loosely, but it motions back because it's like, <laughs> why why am I not eating anymore? And then you just scoop it up. Uh, right, give me it's the uh, same rolls again. Acrobatics, athletics, go. Acrobatics? Oh shit, I tabbed out, sorry. Uh, acrobatics. But uh, Nix, I need you to roll computers. Computers. What's with these 19? That's three 19s in a row. I just rolled. Holy shit. What's with all the 19? Better than 9s. It's better than 9s, right? Much better than 9s. That was a. I don't know what that accent was. I'll be honest with you. I Tick. just did a voice and that's what, what happened. Oh, I did, it didn't. I didn't. I didn't. It. It. Oh. So, like I was steers is. Right. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Um. Again, Zig pulling his weight. Uh, but he's meant to be pushing it, which is the downside. Um, but yeah, use manoeuvre and dump unceremoniously. Use back in the containment field <laughs> and Nyx activates the but field. We'd have to roll to dump it ceremoniously. Better. <laughs> 25, if you want to know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tw 20 is uh, getting it there uh, in time to dump it, hit the button, and all that jazz. So, uh, yeah, you've uh, recontained the, uh, the ooze. Woo! I have half a desk as well. Can we try and prevent that from happening again? Can we not let any dragons on then, Captain? Uh, can't promise that. Can, <laughs> can each of you now all roll a d8 for me? Probably. <laughs> Slash r1 d8? Slash yeah. r space 1 d8. I'm rolling an 2. Okay. Um. One second. Right, cool. So, uh, Colin, roll a d2 for me. Okay. And for me to flip the a same, coin. the same with uh, Zig and Zora as well. I rolled one. Cool. As was fifty percent chance of happening. Two. Two. Cool. So, a pistol. Two sniper rifles and a grenade all just flump out of this thing and hit off the energy fields and fall to the the bottom of the containment field. Just at once, as if it sneezed them out. Okay. <laughs> Can we also feed it more? <laughs> <laughs> you know, with what? Uh, when? And then s tables. Chairs. Then <laughs> just like slowly pulls them back in. So yeah, just chewing away. <laughs> I think we know how to make stuff. And you hear uh, the comms in the ship blur it. Captain? It's Alice's voice. Yes, yeah, Alice. How's things? Everything's fine here. How are you? Who is this? What's your security code? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, and she's like, I'm good. Well, uh, the situation's I'm solved. You can um, come back. 
Where are we going? Good question. And the, the camera pans round to look at everybody. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where he's going? Curiosity is killing me. <laughs> Curiosity is killing me. Space combat, anyone? Spombat. <laughs> what a boy, dude. Um, um, I, th I mean, I don't know if we'll necessarily get into space combat. It's definitely a possibility. Um, you are the captain, though. So, it will be... I don't know that we have anywhere we would prefer to go. Oh, you're kind of like kind of dead in space in the middle of nowhere at the moment, so you just, like, mm. you've got like... You can just plot a course somewhere. Can, can we... also go to Triagus? <laughs> well, let's put it this mm. way, like, things you know, right? I don't want to go to Triagus. Like, let's pause everybody here, right, and move to the main screen. There you go. Right, did I move everybody? I did. Good. So, use where the ship is. Track this <coughs> is back the way. Let's go that way. Uh, or technically forward, if you look at the way the ship's facing. Uh, you're still near the uh, diaspora in you know, space terms. Uh, Olka's home planet, Castravel. Uh, Colin's home planet, I think, Zebulon. Uh, yep. Akaton, which I think is uh, Nix's home planet. Yay, represent uh, trash bag. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Absalom Station, uh, where all the hip happening news is coming from. Uh, Traxxas, where Himani lives, which is more of an implication than a guarantee, really. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. uh, space pirates, space pirates, space pirates, Vesk space, space pirates, space pirates, and space. The, uh, the Baskerville Research Station. Uh, yeah, let's not go there. <laughs> just go back, right? It's ours now. Dibs. <laughs> um... This is obviously the uh, Kasathan, like, fucking city ship. So, uh, yeah, like, where do you just want to go? Because I always plot a course to the Viscarium and just say, fuck this galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh, you also have, like, the the sun. That's also a place you could go to. <clears throat> that is definitely a place we should probably go to. Because, um, like, that, that is a place. <laughs> Did we go see what's happening? Absolute. It's <laughs> a terrible idea. I Let, think it's really the only idea at present. Let's go have a wee peek. Absalom Station. That's what I'll say, I guess. Perhaps yeah, we could stop someone, Captain, to confirm the situation. Um, or stop far enough away to make a visual indication. Yeah, I mean, you could. Like one of the you nearby could. planets to get information. Rather than just appearing in the water. It just depends how uh, quick he's going to make it to Epsilon as well. Can we just don't you roll that random fucking D6, is it? Yeah. Divided by the yeah. drive. Mm. You could always have a go at rigging the drive to operate better to be burnt out, but then you'd be stuck there. I've been in this situation before. Uh, uh. Stop the phrase the rigging the drive is not a great phrase, really, though. But it is an option that I would allow if you do a successful enough engineering check before you. I'm jump. on it, Captain. <laughs> you could attempt to do uh, half whatever you roll on the. Uh... Rigging the drive. <laughs> what if we need to get away and we'll drive blows? That's a terrible idea. Well, I'm telling you, you rig the drive, you get there, maybe. Uh, it'll either take longer or less, and then it will break the drive, and you'll need to repair the drive. Uh, let's not do that. <laughs> let's not get stuck at Absalom if we need to run. <laughs> right? <laughs> what is the worst that's gonna happen? <laughs> what's the worst that's gonna happen? 
<laughs> You've got a spare drive, so it's fine. <laughs> oh, that's fine then. Just hook up yeah. the ooze. <laughs> we won it on that desert planet. <laughs> <laughs> that desert planet. In that racing. <laughs> it's one of the prequel cool episodes, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Episode minus five. <laughs> <laughs> Think yeah, <laughs> we will. <laughs> It'll be in there. We we all take LSD and try an RP <laughs> series of things. Uh, this episode right, is numbered vacuum. <laughs> 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 right. Okay. So what's the plan, guys? You've all been like, <clears throat> like he's gonna go to uh, like you've we'll lots go, of choices we'll, actually, we'll right? Within, we'll, we'll go within communication distance, at Absalom. So, so like, we're gonna plot the course there. to Absalom and then yeah. drop out. Because remember, you, yeah, you, yeah. you target the beacon that's in Absalom, remember the Star Heart, or whatever the fuck it's called? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's not the Star Heart, but it's something like that. At Longsworth Communication? Mm. Or comms? It's mm. a good question. Who built your ship? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have communications array of some variety. Mm. If I can find yeah. the starship. Let's just find it. <coughs> uh, Let's find this star information. We have. And this still has Emily and this is a pilot. <laughs> um, budget medium range sensors. It's <laughs> not a good start. Yes. Totally fine. Um, we don't have um, this is um, comms are in there anyway. I don't know if it's we it just boot up the rule book. Yeah, I'm looking through the uh, the starship rules right now. I'm trying to have a look to see uh, what we got and what we don't got. <laughs> I get blessed under other systems probably. No, we don't have those luxury rooms, so that's for sure. Think of the uh, the map art that we would have got if we had luxury rooms. That's what we should have asked Hermione for. <laughs> that's what you should have did in your year downtime when you had all that scope to upgrade your ship. Sensor. I'm pretty sure you've got medium range sensors. We do. Um, that's just for sensing other ships. What we want is communications. Yeah, I'm trying to find that section. I don't know if that is a section. Um, it's explicit. Sending a message. Beatings takes just as long as sending a person. So basically, mm. it's one to one travel time. Yeah. But you can send that message for anywhere. Hmm. So, yeah, basically, if you've got a drift drive, you can send a message. Cool. Anyway. Good enough. But, yeah, it's one at one time. So, we need to go in person if we want to find it. Really. Yeah, so it's a case of send message, roll d6, see how many days it takes for a message to get there. Would you just know how long it takes? No. <laughs> and then roll d6 for it to come back. Yeah. <laughs> That's mad, by the way. That is mad, and the system is silly. Yeah. But that's what it is. Uh, yeah, what's the plan? Uh, I mean, absolute station, everybody. You could try and prep the engine to not get you there quicker, but to be ready to spool up to get you away quicker. What's the that? You could try that. <coughs> <coughs> That's, I mean, I'm willing to let you wreck your ship if you want, right? That's, I mean, that could go terribly. <laughs> so, fix the try question. Yep. Also, so did, we, did we do the build a bomb rolls, by the way? We did. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel like, what did you do with the bomb? I always plan to use it when we get to Absalom. I mean, where did yes. you put it? Hmm. <laughs> mm. It was probably in one of those boxes. Hmm. Yeah, let's, just, just, let's just say it was in uh, one of the ones you and Alice were standing on, because that seems yeah. nicer than the ooze eating it. And I like the idea of the bomb just sitting in the foreground of the shot as we're running around. 
Just rolling back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> this is safe. Yep. Um, to yeah. to it's safe. Yep, yep, yep. So should we set it up? So we'll jump to just by Absalom. Oh, well, again, you, you'll, you'll jump to Absalom, and then, like, you're not going to jump into Absalom. You're going to jump into yeah. Absalom's space mm -hmm. to then approach Absalom, mm -hmm. uh, and then, mm -hmm. and then maybe not, it. maybe not approach it, and maybe bail. <laughs> Does anyone have a preference for where to bail to? Yeah, because you're going to need to program the computer to be that fast if need be. Because my default mm. reaction as next five would be to go to Acton. Because if you yeah, want to go low and fix good. your ship and escape a war zone, Acton probably it's, is the closest. Yeah, and there's enough space to hide there. Cool. I would not. I'm in agreement. I agree. Yeah. Oh, it's not bad. Engineer this Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's definitely not a bad roll. Uh, right, okay, so rig drive to skip jump prep on arrival to Absol station uh, and then next jump Akaton. Yeah, cool. Uh, it's a pretty good roll. You're fairly confident, as yep. you usually are quietly confident, I guess, that you have done a good job. This isn't the first time I've rigged an emergency route to act on. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not even that, though. I think maybe maybe it's something more like when you've been asked to uh, jury rig things, you've had back doors built into ships where you've been like, cool, mm. I'll have it default to just secondarily jump here unless I disable it. And then yep. you've always had like an insurance policy or something like because I mean you've you've been on some shifty ships. Charlie. Yes, that seems to keep happening. Yes, mm. so some quite shit thrown there. Yeah, plans. I like it. Um. And uh, <laughs> 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 yes, I think the next five always has those stupid backup plans. Yeah, that sometimes look make him look smart. And sometimes you just tell people about <laughs> 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 I'm missing zero bluff check. <laughs> I can operate the device from any range up until uh, 20 feet. I need to be standing next to it, however, in this exact <laughs> instance. <laughs> for my brain is tired. But yeah, yeah. so you're uh, you ready to do its secondary jump, right? Uh, MDOS, want to do anything before you spill up the drive to jump? Um, um, I would like to run and grab a handful of shiny things that are, you know, kind of close that, that Zig particularly likes and hand out one to each member of the crew before we jump. Okay. Yeah. Are these like, like a random really shiny spoon? Like a, a badge yeah, like the, from something? But they're particularly shiny. These are the ones that, you know, he sits there and he's... Like proper, like, polished, highly you know, polished yeah. chrome effect type shiny, yeah. yeah. Like mirror But it mill. is just random tat. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, you all get handed random tokens. Shiny. Yeah. Apologies, uh, stare at it. I, I, I think it was an Ahsoki bequeathed trinket, you could call it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. I'm feeling slightly pleased with himself. He would just kind of sit down and prepare <laughs> mentally. Where are you sitting? Thank you, med kit. <laughs> on the, just on the floor. Just... <laughs> Yeah, I would, I would, uh, I would thank him for it. <laughs> Did you give Alice one? Mm, probably like, a, like not uh, out of the the polished section, just like a, like a, you know, slightly less looked after, um, oh, wow. like a spork or something. Racism. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, like as you hand it to her, she kind of looks at it and she's like, "Is this a gift for me?" They could just nod. Hmm. And she's like, "Oh, I didn't get you anything. Are we doing gifts now?" <laughs> they could just kind of pat her like arm and just be like, "It's okay," and then go sit down. Yeah, and you get like that almost like 
fuzz of static as your hand passes through like, the layer of hologram and hits onto like the armor. Uh, and then she kind of just goes, "All right, okay." Um, and it turns back to like the control console holding the spork. <laughs> Left spork. No, raises spork. Um, I I suppose while 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 we're we're preparing, I will you know prep my guns, get a couple of pistols and, and the sniper rifle loaded and, and ready. <laughs> like I just straps himself into weapons. <laughs> I think it's he's already armoured at this point, probably. It's probably a good idea. Well, that's a good question. Did I ever get um, my, my stuff? I would even like take money off my say itself and say, oh, oh yeah, it, like uh, something that we got you while you were away, and probably just like point them towards that as just soaky suit thing they wanted. Because why not? Yeah, the, tin, the tinfoil armour, essentially, yeah. Yeah, tinfoil armour. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But the actual tinfoil armour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just assumed you had bought that. I thought that was already accounted for. Yeah, 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 yeah. cool then. Oh, yeah. well, just, just make sure the money. Yeah, no, we just I don't think we ever just did a, like, oh, here, have, have a thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. Uh, I just say, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I, I just remember that, saying I to uh, Callum several times in the last couple of sessions. Remember, you, you do have stuff to get. <laughs> yeah, I kept, I kept forgetting. I only just remembered now. Weirdly, a lot has happened. <laughs> Um, so it's, yes. it's it's understandable that uh, you'd you'd be distracted somewhat. Uh, mm. Right, okay. Anybody else doing anything else? Because I mean, I'll be honest. Next, you could probably do something else. That that probably hasn't taken too long to rig. Um, another bomb. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> um, yeah, I think there's just getting strapped into the heavy armor, mm -hmm. strapping all the weapons to it, making sure the. Uh, do I have a jetpack? I think I put a jetpack. Uh, was um, that on your character sheet? Or in your inventory page? I'm, I'm just trying to navigate all the documents. Oh no, there are so many. <coughs> um, I'm pretty sure I do. Just generally making sure everything's set up so that I can, uh, when we crash land on Akaton, <laughs> jump into action. Yeah. It'll Getting the artillery can land ready. That'll be fine. That'll be totally fine. Uh, yeah. So it's not the artillery cannon I'm using anymore, is it? It's the plasma cannon. Yeah, oh, I've got them all at hand. <laughs> I mean, you're just war machine at this point. Yeah, I think we know this. <laughs> we, we do know this. Uh, right, okay. Yeah, that's a. That is definitely a thing that is happening. MD asking anything else that I need to know? No, I'd probably, I'd probably just be doing the same as well. Okay, gear up in case. Cool. And. I think I've covered this. So Zara's geared up, uh, Nix Five's geared up, Lyco's geared up, Zig's geared up. Um, yeah. Do you say anything to the Radiant Supreme, or just leave him be? Um, I'd probably pass by his room and just tell him, just so you know, going towards Absol, and it's apparently. Like as you say that, and like no. you just kind of nod. He goes, "Yes, yes, I'll make my way from there." Just, um, just smiles at you. We've got reason to believe that there's it's currently probably just like raising a, a ridge. I a, a wasn't. <laughs> and he kind of like his smile kind of drops, and he's like. Yes, very, very concerning. So, um, does have a chance this ship might take some fire, so you best be prepared. Yes, preparation against, and then he's, he kind of like, he, like you say, it's like preparation against, and he kind of leaves that hanging. I didn't like expect an, an answer, sort of. Thing. Yeah, like he's kind of like saying, you're saying prepare, but what is he preparing for? Uh, I, well, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> it's like, Play. then how can I prepare? Just in case the ship takes any file, you know, just you do you. <laughs> then he, um, like, 
awkwardly moves the table that's on the floor and sloshes to the side of it with his foot and he kind of like splashes towards you a bit in the wet floor and then he says Excuse yeah you. walks up and like adjusts his towel puts a hand on it to hold it in place and he says uh, thank you and like puts a hand out a hand out Did you shake his hand? Oh, yeah, I would sh shake his hand like it's gross. It's <laughs> gross. <laughs> <laughs> Such a vest catch it. <laughs> Which is space common for racist. <laughs> um, <Hi. laughs> um and he kinda of shakes it and then he puts like his other hand over your hand in that kind of comforting way and taps it a couple of times. And then he kinda of just shakes his head dismissively and then lets go of your hand. And then just kind of like slumps back into the room. What was the shake of the head all about? <laughs> you asking me that, yeah? Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> it was sketch. He then, eh. Uh, Your path is ill advised. Well, I'm the first person to tell me that. But. I might be the last. I can just tell, just don't go to Absalom boys. <laughs> 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 Absolutely everything. Uh, oh god. Well, we'll see. Yeah, because Alice know. is spinning the dial that changes the location yeah. name on the, the jump drive, and it just goes click, 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 Absalom. <laughs> she passes by cow and sheep to get there. <laughs> I, like, no, I like the idea of just jumping when he says that to be honest <laughs> yeah I mean <laughs> it's, like, uh, it's pretty good I think if you want like it jumps definitely then I think it's a good shot to jump on <laughs> Um, you know but it might be the last you know dot 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 and then the drive noise yep that's it the drive noise and then uh, the ship does that cool effect that we haven't described yet ever and uh the ship jumps. Uh, obviously, it's a tense ride. Someone want to roll a d6 for me? I'll do it. Uh, yeah, it's like you do it. Cool. Uh. <laughs> so, you jump. It's an awkward bunch of days. <laughs> and <laughs> then, uh, obviously, if you retroactively want to do things in those days, we'll cover that. But obviously, we're going to just... Cool jump straight to the arrival point because let's face it that's cooler um so yeah use a uh, day one day two day three day four day five day six <laughs> should have done some rest and this time we just fully heal this the extra couple of points that I was missing yeah so whatever six cool. days gets you guys yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. a bit, a bit Palpatine mean, in there, but yeah, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Daedric wouldn't have, obviously, but... <laughs> no, no. Uh, yeah. So, are you all on the cockpit for this? Because that's cooler, right? Yeah, yes. I'm in the cockpit. Yeah, makes sense, yeah. Yeah, cool. Uh, you've all seen Serenity, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. No. <laughs> oh, oh. Please don't shame me. No, how dare you? Let's just move on very quickly. Um, I know folks at home. I know. Sorry, folk at home. Um, Hi, person. <laughs> Still a plural. <laughs> <laughs> okay, feck at home. Okay. Yeah, okay, fall <laughs> at home. So. <laughs> no, I, that could be funny if Oka was watching. Hello, Oka. If you're watching, she's unconscious. And then. Uh, the uh, ship falls out of a drive space with quite a lot of turbulence. Like the whole ship starts to vibrate <laughs> near the end of the uh, the drive jump, and uh, Alice is looking around, kind of just tapping the control console. Like, is it? Um, are we meant to be shaking quite as much? Uh, Zig, if you're paying attention to it, it looks like she's a. Uh, our hair is pulled back in like a kind of ponytail, and the spork is like stuck to the back of her head as if it's pinning the ponytail. Aww. It's obviously a hologram projected over the fact that this thing's just magnetised to her head, but yeah. 
I think that that's sweet. I, I appreciate so that. She's got her head, uh, every ponytail now here. It's like feel slightly bad for giving her a dirtier spork than, than the rest of the crew. That was this one of the only gifts she's ever been given. So yeah, she's quite precious of it, and uh, yeah, I feel shame. And then uh, she uh, she looks a bit awkward. Uh, the fact that she's like, hmm, I don't think it's meant to do this. Um, and obviously, the stretched out bluish starfield of nonsense stops. And then the beautiful visual of Absalom is obscured by hundreds of spaceships that I think Lyco will recognize instantaneously. I. Does okay. everybody want to roll culture? Except, sure. like, oh, you don't need to. You roll if you want, but you don't need to. I mean, I won't. <laughs> For fear of a bad roll. <laughs> I mean, yeah, why risk it? Especially if it doesn't make sense to get a bad roll, you know? Mm. Wow, that's some off me. <laughs> Those are numbers. So, uh, Awful culture. So, some reason, Zig and Nix know this and Zora, why don't you know what I'm about to tell them, right? Let me just finish what I'm telling them and then you can tell me why you just <laughs> you just don't know. You just like late to the cockpit or some shit. Um but yeah. The uh, the visual breaks uh and then this fleet uh in full swing assaulting what looks like uh, like a spired city um in space. Uh, is just being assaulted um, by what looks like Eoxian ships. How would I not know that? You tell me. <laughs> what happened? What happened that meant you know fuck all about that scene? <laughs> <laughs> like, is it just that something in the cockpit distracted? You go off and do something else. Like, why do you not see that visual? Or, like, why do you not get it? Are you too transfixed uh, by the, the Spired City? You know, like... Maybe the Spired City, yeah. I suppose I think would definitely know the Oxygen ships if I was basically fighting the Oxygen during the war. Makes mm -hmm. sense. But, yeah... See, the... that's... Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, right. I, I, I just have... I don't know that he should have had to roll either. Because... I mean... Yeah, that just seems... You're the one that had, like, direct visual contact with the Oxian fleet. I know, but then, so, like, he definitely had with their ground forces, so, I mean, yeah, maybe they didn't have, but I just, like... I feel know. like there's been ships in orbit before they go to ground. I don't know, but... I mean, I feel like we just <laughs> we just found out that no, it didn't. Apparently. Because at no point <laughs> has that ever come up before. I was on a dropship in the Wendy's. So... There we go. I mean, his expertise Drop isn't ship. about spaceships at all. Like, I get your your, your point there, Colin, but he, he was a trooper, and that was it. And then he got exhaled up to, you know, a fake position. So, no, not necessarily. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, Eoxian uh, fleet, as it were, uh, seeming, seemingly under attack uh, from this city-sized ship uh, that you know enough that it is not the Adari ship uh, it's then obviously under attack uh, Absalom looks mightily damaged in the background through these ships uh, what's the plan guys stay or jump and is it roll mysticism oh, okay Mystic. Cool. Mm. Something happened on the ship, your ship, just now. As soon as you dropped out of drive space. I uh, can I tell roughly where it's coming from? Yeah, not the cockpit behind you. Okay, I think Zig would kind of like jump up and just head towards whatever happened. Or like what word of general direction of where <coughs> excuse me. Of of where he felt something happened. Yeah, cool. Uh so like you run back, uh 
As soon as you get down the stairs from the cockpit, yeah, it definitely seems to be coming from the Radiant Supreme's room. Instantly go and check, just like... Yeah, just barge in, yeah. Yeah, just barge in. Yeah. Right. Cool, yeah, the room's totally empty. Like, you do that thing where, you you know, when you, like, kind of run into the centre of a room and kind of, like... Just sniff the air a little like bit, like... 360 a... and just kind of sniff around and look around and... Do that all the time, mate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's a rat, though. He's a rat. Uh, yeah, Colin, roll mysticism. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me a second. I just closed that. So let me open it. Uh, where the fuck's mysticism? One of those rare skills... That, oh, I should have said something first. That's fine. Uh, there you go. Cool. Yep. Uh, yeah, you don't really get enough time to react. Uh, you hear a voice in your head. Okay. Saying, Finally. And then you vanish from the cockpit. Okay. Oh, lovely. <laughs> so uh, I believe Bye. Nyx, Alice, and uh, Zora are in the cockpit. That's the plan. Lyco's vanished, like just gone in like mystic green light. <laughs> Zig has ran off. Because <laughs> running to the back of the ship lets you escape the problem. Seen. Like we just vanished. Yeah, it was I mean, pretty obvious. I see my not being there anymore. That's probably something you've noticed. <laughs> yeah, and but like I was saying, vanished, oh, vanished. that seems to be an, an Oxian flotilla. Vip. <laughs> Can we? What just happened? Uh, punching the scanner on the ship to see if there's any sight of him on board. Uh, uh, some kind of weird life signs detector. Yeah. I mean, you can try and ping his calm, but it doesn't. It's probably like a 50 50 in working with me anyway, to be honest. <laughs> <on that>. oh. <laughs> Life signs detector. Life signs, <laughs> always. <laughs> so actually, just, there's always a pet bird on Lyco's shoulder, and that's what you detect to find him, like a canary. Are we. It's just like the moa that follows the captain that we didn't mention for like nine years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've actually just had this canary for ages. That's because uh, are we close enough to Absalom to connect into their comms network? Uh, yeah. Let's try and ping him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Uh, roll computers. Computers. Computer, computer, computer. We'll see. So, how you do this? Probably very well. Computer. Yeah. Pew, pew. Compars. Yeah. So you go to activate the comms and there's just horrible screeching. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> and like that. <laughs> Is it anything I understand as a language? Uh, no. You're not like uh, it's somewhere screeching. it's somewhere between distortion and uh, pain. I tried a different <laughs> channel. <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's dial up, right? It's <laughs> dial up. Uh, that's what's happened. That's the, the attack has caused us to regress to 28k. Um, I turn it off and then I turn it back on. Yeah, exactly. Like, exact same. Like every channel you check has that. It would take some time to like punch a signal through to the station, and I mean, quite a bit of time. You could probably do it, but whether or not you get anything back, you don't know. Hmm. It's like trying to throw like a message in a bottle through a tornado. If you throw it hard enough, you might get it through, but ain't nobody replying. Unless they got something pretty tough to throw back. That makes sense? That makes sense. That's good. We'll go with that. Yes. Yeah. Um, how long would it... Would it stay, do you think? Mm. Will we be putting ourselves in danger? I mean... It's probably a matter of time before some of the... The ship's picking up if the Yorksian fleet think of you as a threat. Can we make ourselves look damaged? It's probably not that difficult. Yep. Okay. Like More really than we already isn't. are. Yeah, you could probably just like jerig the engine room, right? <laughs> yep. Self emergency lights kind of steer slowly around the side of the. Uh, um. Mm. <laughs> So around the battle. At this point, you kind of need to decide what you're doing with the emergency jump protocol. Are you disabling it or using it? 
Because it's um, like ready to go. But you need to hit the uh, stop the engines button. I really wanted to save it, you know. Um, we'll disable it because fucking Lyco just disappeared. Of course, we'll disable it. God damn it. Can I, <laughs> can I, can I rig, try and Drew rig a temporary hold on it? You definitely can. Mm -hmm. And that will be problematic for the engines. So you run down to the engine room. Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool. So you're now in the cockpit alone, Zora. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, um... Do you hit the jump button while Nyx runs away? Or do you, do you wait? Because no, Alice is kind of just off. staring like, what, what do we do? Oh, I don't shut it off. I don't shut it off. Um... Well, there is the, the red button to jump, and the slightly darker red button to disable the jump. So, but that's jump Nyx, I would call uh, Nyx has run, yeah. Uh, Oh, wait, is our comms working? Our, our personal comms? I don't know yet. You just would need to wait till we click back to Nyx and we heard some horrible kind of dying shark noise. Um, I mean, realistically, I've kind of... I've now got the ability to set my exocortex to be working on computer systems while I'm doing other stuff. Or what do you want to do? If, if my comms is working, it's probably trying to use that to rig into the Amazon station. Oh yeah, I mean, like, there's no issue with you trying to like work on the the, the comm stuff while, yeah, trying to like do rig the engine. Yeah, you just you just need no, to be in the engine room to do it. Yeah, so I'm going to be multitasking that, um, which means you probably won't get on through my comms. I'd have thought. Okay. I also okay. need a wee, I need a wee engine check as well. I'll be engineering from you as well there, uh, Nick's. Um, but mostly it's just a case of so far the captain sees the engine about to jump. It's spilling up the jump. Well, I mean, would you add to just a bit to like try and prolong well, you the don't, jump? You don't sequence? know. He left the room, so uh, it's on you. What you think? So I would just deactivate <laughs> so, the jump in. I would just deactivate the jump in. Cool. If that's what you do, you would hit the deactivate button. It burns out the uh, thing. You get to the engine room. You start jury rigging the hold. Doesn't matter. Yeah. He's already like pulled the plug on it. So the engine like starts its cooldown mode. Essentially, what you'd write before that is like you'd like overrode the ability for it to go into cooldown. Mm-hmm. Uh, and now it's doing its fucking reboot. Yeah, I think that's where Nix Five screams a swear word in Akatoni and kicks the engine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a moment of um, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Pressure. It's a, it's a good scene. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then I think we do that thing where the camera then slowly lingers away back through the ship. Uh, what's what's Zig doing? He's just like in that room, um, sat like. Yeah, I think he's he's probably trying to see if he can tell what happened, as opposed to just the you know vague mystical energy. I mean, roll racism. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you've had this happen too many times. Uh, ah! Yeah, he teleported. Okay. It's almost like you just need to be of, closer. Is there any way of telling, like, what, where it went, or is it just... I mean, the room gone. is spotless. So it's like he took that six days to clean the room up. I think it's not a wet oh, mess. Nice um, nice. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, he's like he's a good guest, you know. Um, but he's gone. He's definitely gone. Uh, no, there's not really like. It's not like it left a marker like with a a, a weird uh -huh. glowing arrow pointing this way. Nah. Nope. <laughs> 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 That's plagiarism. How do you? Um, <laughs> but yeah, he. Uh, nah, he's gone. He's just gone. Cool. But, like you have yeah, that sense of he left of his own volition vibe to it though because yeah. it's his magic you feel cool. very so much it's not like it's not like um it's not like Lyco's so weird like mm -hmm. it's not being uh, Lyco'd away that's fine um, I like Lyco I think they could kind of have very mixed feelings about that I think. yeah like uh, just maybe have that shot of him just maybe sitting on the bed like alone in the room 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, just kind of sitting. Yeah, so like we've got um, obviously Nyx having kicked the engine and swore an Akatonian. Uh, then obviously we've got you sat in the room alone. We've got uh, Zora and Alice just looking at each other worriedly as you they look out onto this fucking. Just this, uh, didn't want to chill, scratch my head. <laughs> and then uh, we harsh cut to uh, Lyco who uh, materialises through a blinding green light and a kind of weird almost kind of acidic smell uh, mm. and then a big smiling face is like an inch away from you Cindy? Hello and welcome <laughs> and he kind of like oh gest- my he gestures very widely um, as he moves out of your visual kind of like blockage and a uh, this station, alarms are going, like, there's half-melted people around, there's fire everywhere, uh, and he says, Welcome to hell. And we end there. Okay. So, uh, that is our session 24. Welcome to, uh, I believe, chapter 5. Uh, let me go back to our session tracker. Oh. What would you like to call this? Because hmm? oh. <laughs> a lot happened. Uh, a lot, a lot happened. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Hey, I took notes as I went. I'd actually <laughs> have Her Majesty. You. <laughs> <laughs> Her Majesty. Um. Uh, I liked Long in the Tooth was funny. Uh, you can't handle the tooth. Was my joke handle thing? The tooth. Or is he a dragon man? Um. Then the v- <laughs> the vesk in the desk, uh, obviously. Uh, welcome to hell. The first cut is the deepest. Um, I I may be the last to say it to you. Something I can. Can one is the dragon? <laughs> oh God, no! No for your angel plagiarism. <laughs> what was that last one? The secrets <laughs> of the use. <laughs> secrets. <laughs> Secrets of the black magic box. <laughs> yeah. Part of the ship, part of the use. <laughs> part of the ship, part of the use is good. <laughs> I mean, you type up what, what the short list is, guys. I'm, I'm happy for you guys to vote on this nonsense. Um, this is a problem. <laughs> this is a problem. <laughs> Bad guys. <clears throat> I mean... Just Absalom Station is always a valid one. <laughs> Enjoy the buffet. <laughs> this is <laughs> fuck is always valid, it seems. Um, <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bottoms up is always another good one, Hamani. Good old glug glug. starting from the bottom. <laughs> um... Generally, you have to buy dinner first, but whatever. Um, what did what? Consumption. That's a not, not bad one. Um, rigging. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Let's have a think. So, started with Hamani calling a meeting. Drinking the You know, <laughs> drinking if you told me that was last session, I would have believed you. <laughs> so Hamani called a meeting and then we had uh, a lot of chat Edgar departed uh, the Radiant Supreme departed everybody said Absalom was a bad idea I mean ironically Edgar did say in fact I'll see you on Absalom is a great title see you on Absalom is a good title that is a good one so I'm not saying I like that one, but I do. Uh, so my vote goes there, but I don't care. Like, what, what do you guys want? Uh, mostly because I forgot Edgar said that. Um, but it's kind of funny that he said that to the one person that had a patron, as it were. Um. Hmm. That's what. What's your thoughts then? I'm still going to go with a. Uh, I mean, 
Ja, 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 I do still like part of the ship, part of the ooze, but I do feel it's so <laughs> long-winded. But then I'll see you in Absalom. That can be that can be the the subtitle. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you in Absalom, part of the ship, part of the ooze. Um, the for, tagline, if you will. <laughs> our session notes would just be us thinking about uh, session titles. <laughs> Dead man's chest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dead man's Check desk. How much? <laughs> Dead man's what? desk? Like <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we don't know whose desk it was. Um and the US didn't care. What's the thoughts guys? I don't want to just say it's L C and Absom because that's obviously a weird GME decision, so you just pick what you like. I know that I've got Nico's vote so far. What else is in the, the running? Colin, you've been quiet. Uh I don't have an idea. Okay. At world's end, yeah, I'm just gonna keep going for it. <coughs> yep. Caribbean pirate bandito titles, yep. yep. <laughs> Welcome to hell. <laughs> Do you believe in ghost stories, Miss Rose? Because you're in one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Barbosa. Um, right, okay, so um, besides the uh, homage to Pirates of the Caribbean, I mean, that's my only ideas. Okay. <laughs> so, on anything. I'm going to put it down as I'll see you in Absalom, and then by the time we've yeah. finished all the backup yeah. chat, you can, uh, we can change it if need be. I'll see yeah, you I like that. on Absalom. Uh, I like it because it kind of implies that it's a really bad idea. Um, so I do enjoy that. I'll see you in hell. <laughs> and, yeah. I think it was extremely implied that it was a bad idea. And directly said. Multiple times. Yeah. I think as well, like, if we talk about that for a wee second, like, Hamani didn't really give a fuck, right? Like, it's kind of like, you just have your business and that's completely on you. That's fine. I wouldn't go there. But, you know, it's your, your problem. Um, like when you were starting to say, well, we've got stuff that we need to do first, he's like, yeah, that's fine, I don't care. Like, <laughs> our business is concluded. <laughs> Wipes queen off lips. <laughs> so. <laughs> I don't think I ever cleaned up my sick. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's probably still there. Six days later. Um, six days later. <laughs> six days later, yeah. Ugh. Um, Radiant Supreme Club probably cleaned it up, to be honest. He's, he's a good guy that way. Ship's probably yeah. as clean as it's ever going to be. Um, <laughs> kept himself busy, you know. Right, so, Nico. Yes. And the rest of the party. Let's talk about goals. Mm -hmm. So. Resolve the Droid Queen's death and newfound royal goopiness. I'd say that's Sounds been resolved. Sounds pretty it's resolved. All bad. At least partially. I think there's still the obvious plot thread of um, Furler. Mm. But we have. Uh, so you just want to update it then? To rework I think, it? Well, I think the immediate goal has been achieved. Like, we've dealt with that, but we now kind of have that hanging over it, as in. Where does that go when we. when we end up in contact with her again? You know, where. I don't know if that's necessarily a new objective so much as a question of what's going to happen down the road, but... Yeah, so what is the next step then? For mm. the, the party to re like to resolve that? Because keep in mind, this is how you're getting XP now. So, mm. Mm, how does... Right, resolve the Drow Queen's death and you found royal goopiness, right? What is the... Re how do you know you've resolved that? What You tell me how you know it's resolved. Well, we've got rid of her. <laughs> Yeah, we've kind of wiped our horns here. Gave our... <laughs> gave, gave our... <laughs> and, li and lips. <laughs> three, three, three parties wanted her right, and we, we gave her to somebody right. We, we, we kind of technically... See, just... I'll tell you this now, right, while you're thinking about the goal stuff. The other option, so the deleted scene, as it were, of that moment, was um, Hamani setting out glasses for everyone and pouring a glass of her each 
as you was toasted to the victory. Uh, which I decided not to go for because I liked the more primal him drinking it himself. It felt it felt better. Um, I think I would have been like one and all the people would have maybe got one on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Just absolutely gross. Absolutely gross. Disgusting. That's disgusting. Uh, I just have an image of Lyco shrugging and probably drank worse. Glug. Um, <laughs> no, I'd, I'd like a winner going for it. But that's why I thought I preferred the idea of him primarily just drinking the whole thing himself. That it felt more personal, like it was supposed to be. Um, but yeah, so, what's the resolution test? Or is it resolved? Because you just need to have like a, a way to complete it in mind. right? So, what was the win condition for that? Is it resolved? Is there a new goal? Uh, I think we resolved it. I think the new goal is survive the backlash of what we just did. <laughs> but then, right, so that's not really a, an achievable goal, right? Because that's a forever the rest of my days. Right? Survive the backlash. <laughs> yeah, like there's no way to win that, no way to achieve that, as it were. Like without just living out the rest of your life peacefully. <laughs> um, I mean, the immediate issue is recover Lyco. Mm -hmm. It's true. Find out what the hell just happened to Lyco. And retrieve him. <laughs> bring, bring me my bones. <laughs> so is it uh, recover Lyco then? Uh, so yeah, it feels like it feels like that's the immediate problem right now. Unspook the spook. Unspook the yep. spook. Unspook the spook. So, <laughs> I think I'm going to change it to... Because um, it needs to be something that Lyco can work on, right? Yeah. So, he can unspook do, you wanna, do you want to weigh in on this, Colin? Well, the difficulty here, of course, is that I'm not really in a position to coordinate with them right now. So, can we really have a shared objective in this? Or I mean, think about what you just said. Be a more overarching one. Well, they have, I suppose, the alternate, the, 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 the sort of a... Uh, the flip side of that would be for me to find them, but yeah, I mean, I and you you've know, got I, a you have a resource right next to you that yeah. moved you to it. I think my current sort of goal actually is probably more like um, immediately at least it's going to be something along the lines of find out what a actually is going on. Aside from what appears to be mm -hmm. going on, I mean that's pretty clear. But right, why, how, what, mm -hmm. uh, what, what exactly are are the outside fleet? Do, like, is this just, just, it's war now, guys? Mm -hmm. Hello, are the pack worlds just going to collapse? Is that what's happening? Mm -hmm. Um, so, yeah, I kind of want to know what is the situation. Um, and what is expected of Lyco by uh, I mean I am I am wearing Sindel's mm -hmm. crest you know it's because we have, still haven't necessarily gone back and filled in the details of exactly what their relationship is I mean we might so, be getting some flashbacks coming up quite yeah, frankly um, so what Lyco do the thing like that thing we did one year ago you know <laughs> like, so yeah, uh, but like so what? So what promises might have been made by Lyco or to Lyco? Mm. You know that's still. So it sounds more like we've maybe moved into individual goal territory here. Yeah. So I think at least in my case. Yeah, let's have that then, right? So. Because I'm separate. Let's have it I where we'll put a. Uh, everything in here, right? So Lyco, Zig, uh, Zora. And next five. Right, okay, so Lyco is. Um, what's the. Would it be, um, say, gather intel about current situation? Yeah. Uh, on Ab Salem. Yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, that's general enough. And then, aka war, war, question mark. Yeah, like, I'm, but I'm not specifically just like, oh, what are you guys doing? Because I think we're all aware that this answer has been sort of staring us in the face, but it's been vague, and coming here seems to have clarified, but... Yeah, but know, like, this will require you to actually go do stuff, gain, and like, 
I actually yeah. have several skill checks to to complete it. Um, obviously, I can't say exactly what would complete it, but the journey will hopefully make that make sense. Um, yeah. It basically gives you stuff to do on the station. Um, what about you, Zig? What's your immediate mm -mm. goal? And keep in mind that you'll, you'll have the grander scope of knowing what happened on the ship, etc, etc, etc. Like, because keep in mind, these are players designing goals for their characters. Right, yeah. It's not Zig going, what do I want to do? It's you saying, what do you want Zig to be doing? Um, and obviously, like, the same with Azor and the same with uh, Next 5. Like, if you have ideas, like, just come at me. What, what, what are we? Because keep in mind, they can be, these can be refined at the start of the next session, but I want, like, a rough idea now so I can work on stuff. Um, since we have so resolved, I'd obviously try and what I find out stuff about like Emelyn and stuff, obviously. Right, so your your focus. Why I wanted to get to Absalom. Right, so your. That's probably why you wanted to get to Absalom. So what is it? Um, uncover the fate of Emelyn. Yeah, pretty much. Probably. Probably. Right, okay, there's that. And the cover Lyco as well. That's that's obviously like that's easily probably most immediate thought right now. But yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just I'm just typing in this. Sorry, I didn't so we've I got um there. so we've got like resolve the drow queen goopiness, that's basically resolved because him and he drank her. Uh, <laughs> then oh, undo that last one. Yep. Uh, in the end we couldn't have really desk outside yet and followers I don't think that he was even on with her NML like in Zora's eyes, so mm. I don't care if she's like level twenty. <laughs> I don't think he would see eye to eye with right now. So like I don't think that's happening. The, so I guess uh, that is pretty much done in his eyes anyway. That, that was pretty much done. He's wiped his hands of the queen. Like, fucking, like... Um, yeah, I think, like, that we're at a juncture right here where we don't really feel like we have a great deal of choice because, right, what are we going to do? Just leave them to it in Absalom? Like, not find out what's happening? Not intervene? Not I mean, try this and is obviously... Friend, you know? Big story point as well. It's it's too mm. interesting not to try and get meddling in me. Like, <laughs> hey, I mean, yeah, you could always just RP. hit. Yeah, you could always if hit the don't, button don't and jump. Don't go to the galactic capital, well, solar system <laughs> yeah. capital, which needs to you know stand because if it fell, that would be really bad. It's under siege. We can't tell you why. It's vague and ominous. You know, <laughs> we don't not go. It's a space fucking city fighting. Who does they want to go to the space city? <laughs> <laughs> right, so currently we've got uh, gather. Uh, I've just wrote gather about. Uh, I think I want to gather info. Gather info about current situation in Absalom, aka the war. Uh, right, we've got uncover the fate of Enel and Dali. Uh, so obviously, uh, screw you, Lyco, really, was uh, what Zora said. But I think that says that Lyco was. Yeah. <laughs> well, why don't you make the uncover the fate like the new party goal? Because is that like what That's you really want? We could cheer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I mean, I feel like you mm -hmm. all care about her. And um, it's something yep. we can go going in. Yeah, she right. Is potentially in danger. So, so I'm gonna change Zora's. So yeah. Zora, we would you... need coordination for us all to have that as our goal. Yeah, because you're you're all there when Edgar was like, I had nothing to do with her. Yeah. Um. I should have did ask easily. Like, I did say that I'm gone. I don't care what happens. It's kind of idea as well. So, Keep Zora, are you, is yours going to be, um, you know, is it, like, like what do you want now? Because if we're sharing the Uncover the Fate one. Uh, well, I can't like one, I suppose. It's the, the current goal. Then. So, um, what's the word? Like, Reconvene. <laughs> ah, reconvene. Yeah. Long, long, long. long. Find out what happened to Lyco. Yeah. So reconvene with Lyco. What about you, uh, Kalam? Bye. Um, Kalam. 
Kalumnum. Kalum. Kalum. I think. Mom. I think. Um, long term, I think I want. Uh, I say long term. Um, Big I think. Money. I, well, I think Zig would want to have this, um, like a closing moment, close off the whole Radiant Supreme being his end all and be all of. Um, you know, sort of. Do you want to outgrow your hero? To be. Yeah. So I think I think. Hmm. Big money, big well, women. So you want to shine yeah. on your own instead of standing yeah. in the shadow of the Radiant Supreme. Indeed. That's a fucking good way to put it. <laughs> That's a great way to put it. <laughs> so feel free to type that up. So what's the wind condition? Do you just stab the Supreme in the back or like <laughs> <laughs> Um Uh I You shall shine brighter than I, I ever shone before. Him into the sun. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you fire him into the sun he <laughs> shall become more brighter than you could ever imagine. <laughs> you would squint. <laughs> Um, I squint for no man. Right, okay. Have um, you typed this in the school like yet? Get it, get it typed. Uh, I've half typed. I've typed shine. Shine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, so next, to talk about yours, uh, the engine isn't broken, just so as you know. You have ah. rolled well enough to keep the engine reasonable. It's just on its normal operation currently. Yep. So I'm not going to make you waste a goal doing something you don't need to do. Um but the engine's fine, it's just it can't jump again your goal could be oh, like, spool up the engine to jump, regardless of what the cap wants to do so you yes. could just jump used to Akaton regardless <laughs> um. <laughs> bye Felicia I mean, to get it mm -hmm. to see if I can just keep it riding on that edge of being ready to go um, but obviously, that could be disastrous. So that's something to keep in mind. Okay. Um. Make make sure not to edge it too much. <laughs> I've been What's in a situation way? where it was edged too much. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. And good night. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Okay. So you have a bomb. Do you want a second bomb? Bin? More bombs. Okay. What was, it, what was just a bigger bomb? You could turn the drive into a bomb. I was just going to say that, yeah. Like, I mean, um, a fucking ripping a hole into another reality bomb is going to be pretty powerful. I was I was about to ask, what size of bombs do you think we would need to destroy a, a, a space citadel? I feel like we shouldn't do that. So like a, yeah, like a, yeah, but like, how good would that be to like end the campaign, like just by like flying the ship, Independence Day style, up, yours, <laughs> then realizing that's that, that's like the people with the knowledge from the gap are in the city ship. They're all like supreme beings. They're all here to like bring peace and harmony, wipe out the evil necromancers, and you're like, up, yours, <laughs> <laughs> and this is how we enforce the gap. Yeah. Evil necromancers are not causing too many problems, right? Um, <laughs> are they? I mean, you stole one of your crewmates. Yeah, but I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> I mean, the crewmates kind of in cahoots with him, right? We just don't know that. Uh, right, do you want to learn anything about the city ship? Because that's something you aren't talking about. I mean... That could I, be a goal. It's not really registered kinda, for me yet. Yeah. It, it's kind of, <laughs> it's registered for me, but like... It kind of arcs into like Collins, like one as well. Whereas, like, sort of probably wants to know what's going on, but he's got other pressing things like that he cares about Mel, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next, we sticking with that? Yes, okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> gonna be interesting. This is when <laughs> Zora goes, Right, let's reconvene with Lyco. Why are we in Akaton? 
Uh, maybe I can figure out a way to warp everything to Akaton. I mean, you could definitely... Uh, <laughs> it's definitely a roll somewhere for that. It's maybe a few <laughs> rolls. But uh, you might not be able to warp everything, but you could definitely ram your ship into another ship and fucking nuke your drive, yeah? Yep. Don't know where you'd That's go, but you could program it to go to Akaton. <laughs> As long as we make sure it's the one that light goes in, <laughs> that counts as reconvened. Mm, no. Yep, that is. I think that's how the police refer to it. Reconvening incident. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go back to no. <laughs> like the wind conditions so far for these are. Feeling pretty confident, you know what the fuck's going on, and probably having mm -hmm. somebody agree with you, that's Lycos. Um, you know, confirmation of what's the situation? We're fucked! Um, Ziggs is apparently killed his boss, um, slash mentor, slash hero. Ziggs <laughs> um, so kills a bit much. It's okay. more more of a leaving the nest. I'll need to. Um, I'll go sup. I'll need to do a flashback to the cutscene of how he became the Radiant Supreme properly. Um, pushes Grace down a staircase or something, you know. It's like <laughs> Code Geass or something. <laughs> I, <was> like, <laughs> <laughs> I see you, orange girl. <laughs> Flips cape over. I see you, orange girl. Anyway, so not to go too, too crazy. Um, so Zig, really how are you resolving that? Like, what's your win condition? Because that is a good goal, but I don't know if it's good for now, right? It is super long term. Yeah. How do you achieve that soon? Because I think you should definitely keep it, because it's definitely a good goal. But what's your your good current goal. focus? Um, is that a bit more like a character development goal, wouldn't it, really? It's yeah, it's a good one to have. Over time. It's yeah. definitely. Like, like, I think it's a great goal, quite frankly. Um, I think probably um, you could literally like solve that in an instant as well, just by you know anime moment. Or like just deciding, like you know, on. yeah, like <laughs> mo like doing your sol your soliloquy to yourself in the the empty room. <laughs> He's not what I thought he was. I looked up to him now. I see only shame, dot dot dot, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> um. <laughs> At once his yeah. light was warm and welcoming, now it's cold and harsh. <laughs> I shield my it's eyes from his light. Good. You know, other such, I mean, my ad libbing's alright. Um, I guess I actually just, I suppose, finding out either, not really where he's gone, but like what his. The Radiant Supreme actual is is up to, as opposed to like that that like sort of moment earlier when he was like chatting to him is kind of that sort of wee turning point where he's like now more willing to question. Yeah, he's not as like what the Radiant Supreme's up to. What what's his? I think when you chat to a guy that's wrapped in a bathrobe that's sloshing around a wet room for a bit, he doesn't seem as untouchable or as on a pedestal. Yeah. Right. Um. But yeah, you could have. Um, so I think more like invest, not investigating, not the right word, but um, understand. I'm going to say it anyway, understand what, who the radiant supreme is. I guess. Yeah. By finding, finding out is what he can. Yeah. About thinking, because I feel like Zig would have had that sort of, um, sort of just naive acceptance of everything, especially when he was at the 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 temple. Yeah, that's a good one, yeah. It's obviously it is a bit longer term, but it's it's a valid one, definitely. Yeah. Um I like the idea that also you can play up to that by not really focusing on the other people's goals in the party as well. Right? Like obviously if Zora's like, Right, we have to get back to Lyco because that's how Zora sounds now. Um, <laughs> and then, <laughs> then obviously Zig Zig's like, Yeah, 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 but where's the Radiant Supreme? You know. Mad yeah. Lemon's not that great. So anyway. Um <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah,
have a wee think about it as well, because type up that goal, that's a good goal, like understanding the Radiant Supreme. But is that maybe how you replace them, right? In your eyes, understanding them. So Oh, possibly. Mm. Uh, so have a wee think about it and see if you can come up with a short term goal as well. For the week. Yeah, and like obviously we'll discuss goals at the start of next session as well. Uh, to see if we can sort out whatnot. But I like what we've got so far. I like that we've instantly moved on to individual goals because it made sense narratively. Um, we've still got some party goals. Uh, I'll leave the other one kind of unresolved and see once we've done enough that I feel like warrants levelling up will move us up levels as well. I think that's quite a good way of like achieving things. Um, I think it does make sense to have it done this way. It feels more checkpointed properly. Uh, right, beyond that, let's do a roundup uh, and we'll close this off. Uh, Next, do you want to go first? Yeah, it was a, a long session, actually. It was. Um, I enjoyed our slapstick comedy, of course. <laughs> I loved um, it. <laughs> <laughs> some fantastic roles in there. That was so good. Uh, that, that, that zero, that zero roll. Uh, that was fantastic, absolutely It was perfect. a special when you roll a zero in a game. Well, so it's good to have these moments, I think. See, just the, the breaking up the story a bit, because, I mean... Nonsense can happen, regardless, right, of what's happening around you guys. So that may be one of the few skill challenges we've done as a team. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Scooping up the ooze. Um, so ridiculous. I love it. Yeah, I think just it's still an credit sequence, isn't it, for chapter five? <laughs> <laughs> and just generally the uh, the whole aspect of us pushing forward despite all of the NPCs telling us not to. Yeah, right, like so many people that you have come to appreciate their challenge rate. Yeah. <laughs> um, like, you've realised, it's like, wow, none of these people think we're doing the right thing. But we're going. Because it's what we've done. Because, and f it seems, driven by, <laughs> Emelyn was screwed over. Yeah. So thus, and we were screwed over. We have to go find out. Just will poke our nose in it. Yeah, I, I think that's brilliant. Proper protagonist behaviour. Yeah, I think it's really good because it's the same as you know, asshole Star Lord goes to a planet, meets Space Dad, everybody else gets alienated, and then they all go save him anyway because it's what yep. they do. I think that's brilliant. So yeah, so, yeah. Looking forward to seeing what we screw up next time. <laughs> yeah. Um, probably happen within like the first five minutes in the next session. Hi. <laughs> It's a shame you don't have like transporter tech. You could just beam the ooze over to people's ship and go, that will solve itself. Um, <laughs> we'll just go and pick the ooze and I got my answers chewed through the ship. <laughs> Are you ready for your away mission? You know, wedgie. Bye bye. <laughs> it's called wedgie now. Um, but, uh, <laughs> it's part of the crew, man. That's part of the crew. Uh, yeah. Uh, it doesn't work. Anything else, Alex? Um. Yeah, just generally dealing with Hamani being uh, a shit. See, trying to do his mannerisms as a fed-up Tywin, I just had to think of every goddamn scene from Game of Thrones where I'm like, at that time he was annoyed and frustrated and fed up. That was every scene. Yeah, that one. I'm glad I managed to get the rise out of him then. No, it was good, because it was something I didn't <laughs> expect when you were like, speaking in Draconic, and it would be like his eyes were like, hmm, the toaster can speak to me. Because um, <laughs> it would have been respectful to speak to him in Draconic for the whole time. If people cared about that shit, right? Um, so I'm just doing it once was uh, yeah, but I like that. Like I think it's, but that's the thing. It, it was good that the one person he was specifically ignoring is the one yeah. person that got the rise out of him. I like that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what about you, uh, Zig? Why not? I enjoyed <laughs> most of Lyco. <laughs> <laughs> What bits of like? I liked her. I liked her. I liked her little, her, her little chat. And his little, um, kind of not wanting to say, "Well, oh, we're the bad guys." Um, mm. yeah. that whole just little, little heart to see moment was just. Was yeah, because really nice it's. Fun I like the fact me. that Colin did like highlight. He's like, I don't want Zig to think of us as wrong. I guess like doing the, the bad thing, as you said. Yeah, and I think that kind of adds to that sort of turning point in his. Yeah, like Zig growing mind, up, whole, right? Like Radiant Supreme thing. It's kind of that sort of like th that that defining moment of. Yeah, he's he's young, but he's he's starting to kind of see the world more as 
the rest of the world's the universe, I guess, more of what it actually is compared to the this is the good guys, this is the bad guys. This is the Radiant Supreme, all awesome and wonderful, and this is the scary, horrible person. Yeah, it's, I mean, you kind of find out the Radiant Supreme's kind of just a guy doing a job, right? Yeah. So. I think, I think, like, I like will play, like, a, just, like, a big part in that, sort of, narratively bringing that all together. So I like that whole. I think as well, it's good off the back of him having that conversation with the Radiant Supreme, right? And the Radiant Supreme uh-huh. kind of being mystical with Lyco. And then being like, yeah, look, cards on the table. Here's a hologram. Look at this. There's the universe. This is a problem. This is bad. Here's the big bad guy. There you go. Done. And Lyco going, good enough. And then Zig being under the, the grates, being like, he did bullshit all that. Then you go and obviously challenge it. And he's like, yeah, did I lie though? Or did I just say what I think I know? Because I don't know that's truth. And he give you an absolute bullshit answer. Yep. <laughs> Which was almost like one of those, you know, Lyco opens the door and uh, the Radiant Supreme points at all the actual bullshit in that z- exact scene and says, look, I am bullshit. So, yeah, it was almost like the final nail in the coffin for Zig's opinion there. With him being uh-huh. like, yeah, I'm going to be obscure. It's almost a disrespect in a way as well, where he's just like, yeah, he was straight with Lyco, but not with you. Almost like he was trying to hold on to some kind of reverence from you. Mm-hmm. It's good. It's good development. So, yeah. Damn good. So I, I just enjoyed that all being sort of tied together. Not good. A little bit. Uh, what about you, Nico? I also... No, oh, it's gone. <laughs> no, no, I, I hear him. Hello? Yep, Hello? welcome back. Hi! Hi. Oh, yeah, cool. Um, I enjoyed those antics. That was hilarious. Really, really hilarious. It was great because it was the perfect tension diffuser. Like, <sighs> it rolls. <laughs> oh, fucking perfect, man. I told, it just happens. Good, man. Lord, we way too good. That bluff. Fantastic. The bluff. <laughs> the zero bluff, man. It's the fact that, like, obviously, Alex specifically said, I now can remote activate things from 20 <laughs> feet away. <laughs> and then narratively, like, I will have to be right next to this control battle. <laughs> <laughs> it's, fa- it's perfect. That is brilliant. Uh, <laughs> oh, fucking triple so A dialogue. As per usual, it. guys. Fantastic, man. It has been good. Definitely makes a highlight reel. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, the whole stuff was nice. I also enjoyed like was like we're not the bad guys. We're mm-hmm. not the baddies. <laughs> <laughs> Very enjoyable. Yeah. yeah. Now, like as I said, I like the fact that um, you just had like various experiences with different levels of um, people either bolstering what they appear to be powerful wise or other people being like you asking because you expect certain things of people and then be like yeah I don't want you to think I can't do that thing you're asking me to do so I'm just going to make up a reason why I can't do it for reasons it's good um, what about you Colin? unless I think Nico do you get any more? no that was it, yep. that was it. Uh, if I could uh, refer back to the point made by a young individual known as Mr. Callum, not known as Mr. Callum, no one calls him that. That is what uh, that is. Hello, Mr. Everyone, Callum. Uh, technically, so everybody, everybody, literally everyone calls me Mr. Callum. So That's yeah, his uh, name. that I, um, name again is Mr. Was Callum. It just like the uh, the blah, 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 blah. it wasn't just this session. It was like the way it tied into what went the uh, last session, mm-hmm. and I think that was really. It was really nice because, it, like, like we sort of made the point last session about like people aren't always what you expect, uh-huh. and sometimes like he made a point like about like I don't know if I said it in character, but I definitely talked about it out of character how like Zig being, the, um, you know, a mature technically I think at this point, yeah, for his species doesn't change the fact that he's only got like a handful of years of actual life experience like it doesn't matter if you're physically mature you can only live so much in so many years and yeah 
I, he's obviously had some rough times. And, you know, he's, he's ended up in a, a fairly rough and tumble crew as well. Mm -hmm. But what I'm obviously aware of in character is that, like, you know, the captain's seen some shit. You know, <laughs> Nix is not Nix one. Um, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> Which we're debating if you were called next one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's um, it's. I'm aware. I'm cognizant of the fact that there is not necessarily any guarantee that this this kid has the experience of admiring someone, seeing them as a teacher and a leader, and then discovering their shit. Or maybe they're not shit. Maybe they're just scared like everyone else is. Or it's that thing you discover when you're a kid and you realise your parents are just bigger kids and you get that mild Which existential crisis. Which is one of those things that I found out pretty early and I was amazed that other people hadn't noticed. But, <laughs> I love my parents, but come on. I, I, I can see right away they were. Yeah, like but like, I think like your point stands still with them. Um, no, I know. Like, in early like, life you do. Like, your parents are basically like giants that know ev everything and can do anything. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, and it's that same sort of thing. It's like you, you grow up in a, in a cloistered environment, quite literally, I suppose. <laughs> um, the, the person who leads there, like the person who's the most important Sorry. and the wisest there, is to you, they are the most important person. They are the wisest person. They are in charge. And it was that sort of flow. Last session, it was like I was softening him up to the idea. That not necessarily that oh, he's lying, he's a baddie, and he's not going to be what you expected to be, but also the idea that he might be everything you think he is, but that doesn't mean he's perfect. And and it was the continuation of this. Um, it was the sense that he, Lyco isn't just sort of buttering him up. He feels like he's preparing him. He feels like he's sort of telling him, look, look, look. Be prepared to be disappointed by people. Yeah, you're not sheltering them from us. like the world. Yeah. You're saying, by the way, the world is horrible and spiky. Wear something and, spike proof. Yeah. And this, I felt like this this session with the events in this session with what I was saying in this session tying into is like like but yeah, we're not the good guys. We're just guys. Yeah, good and bad is a kid's idea. Like it's I mean it's, it's not even necessarily that. It's like there are these things and they are way above us, and we're just. We're just people, you know. We're we're just people. Good and evil. That's for you know creatures that are made of darkness. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is maybe somewhat flavoured by your experiences in your bedroom with Edgar. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, First time yeah, not what you thought it would be. No. <laughs> I mean, it certainly is influenced by like, that reaction to that. It's like that that sort of wave of fear and revulsion from him, like. Mm -hmm. Lyco wasn't a dick about it, but Lyco doesn't take well to that sort of show of force. He doesn't like someone going, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, but look at my spooky powers. It, he, he doesn't like it because he takes it as a threat. Like, yeah, and I don't even, th th like, I think as well, like, from what you know about Edgar as well, it wasn't even like he wasn't trying to be threatening, or even specifically that he was trying to be threatening, right? I think it was more of a, <laughs> this is what it is. Like, it was a, a clarity moment going, you don't really know what you're getting into, but you know you don't know what you're getting into, and here's how much you don't know. Also, I guess I'll see you in Absalom, because I know you're going to go anyway. Bye-bye. It's the old <laughs> smacked in his ass thing, like, as well. It's like, you know, he, get, he felt like he got smacked in his ass, because he literally got smacked in his mm -hmm. ass. Um, and I, I liked it because I felt like it, it just... His experiences and what he was wanting to convey to Zig, the coincided very neatly with where the Zig was going, and so we got this lovely little almost joint trajectory. Um, yeah, because essentially, you almost like fall back down into like reality, and he kind of gets pulled up into like, out of his fantasy almost, and it is this kind of weird, um, like almost a uh, reflection that you have got going on. Also mm. quite Especially the dark and the light vibes from the Radiant Supreme not being as uh, shiny as he once yes. was, and obviously Edgar being very dark and, uh, you know, rainbowy. But also somewhat ambiguous as well. Um, like, they, he's evil, but he's not necessarily. I mean, I describe him as cosmic evil, and that's what I think. That's what my character thinks, too. But, you know, this is a setting where. 
cosmic evil is a thing, devils and demons exist. Mm -hmm. But that's not to say they're all the same and that they're all exactly working on the same level. Like, evil isn't just, ah, I will murder for no reason! Like, you know, he was yeah, and killing millions is considered evil, but like, killing millions of murderous Vesk, for example, <laughs> might be considered heroic. So the, the whole thing is like, the, 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 it is more complicated than that, but right now, Lyco is very much feeling like he's kind of up against the wall, and I liked getting to do a little bit of going, you know, kind of want to slay the dragon, just because mm -hmm. it was a little, it was a way for him to kind of vent, you know, yeah. saying like, fuck these guys, they're, you know, they're, you know, it, it was essentially a continuation of that theme of, you know, I'm annoyed at the big scary things pushing us about. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you and know, like, whether or not he's actually sincerely is going to try and kill Gamani, probably not. That doesn't seem very practical. No, but it's a nice um, way of going, fuck that guy. Or when you daydream yeah. of like pushing someone out of a window, you know, like whatever yeah. the, 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 the aside was. I think on that and, note as well, with um, yeah. your blade kind of thing as well, I think at some point Alice, during those like six days of travel, will have approached you and asked, like, she'll have asked to see them. Yeah, we can, we can discuss that um, at the start of next session. Because um, like she'll definitely have asked to see them. Um, it's a very small thing, and then obviously she'll have vanished for a day, and she'll come back, and then she'll show you hers. <laughs> uh, so she makes herself black blades that come out of her wrists uh, to kind of match yours. Um, because yeah, she's like, huh, that's neat. Okay. And she has mimicked you quite a bit. So. Yeah. Yeah, she has. Uh, yeah. We can have that conversation like the start of it though, but because mm -hmm. I'll, I'll have to take some time to think about what I'm going to say. Um, it's not even like it would be a, a particularly big thing, it, but yeah, we definitely can. We can definitely flash that because I don't mind just using the six days productively if need be. I am always happy to use that time. I, I think on that though, I think we'll conclude this because we're definitely way over our normal time. Uh, we'll do all our scheduling off recording. So I, thank you everyone for playing. It was yeah, a great session too. as per usual. Thanks, Ryan. And Thanks, it was great. Thank you. These are all goodbye, very, very welcome. And goodbye, everybody at home. Bye bye bye. Goodbye. 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 goodbye.